All right, now that Andy's gone, uh, we can throw Nugget off the bridge. <laughs> I just don't kill Nugget or whatever my character's called. Yeah, uh, you're gonna have to be here to stop us from doing that. <laughs> otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna drown the aquatic frog. I really couldn't remember who he was called. I, was <laughs> I can't called believe that you called him Nugget. Like, <coughs> like, I was like, I know he's a frog. What the fuck is he called? <laughs> What's I my like character's that. name? Andy. <laughs> That's Your a great screenshot. Salem <laughs> Muffin Fluffy Sunday. Something like that. It's its full name, Andy? It, it's Nobody knows. Salem oh, Fluffy no. Muffin Sunday. Salem Pickle Fluffy Muffin. Oh, Fuzz, Fuzz Aldrin. Aldrin. What? Yeah. That's, that's a new addition. No, it's the whole point is um, every time he levels oh. up, there's just another cat added, so he has to have a name for each one of them. Oh, really? Oh. Mm. I'm You're deciding. A hyphen. Yeah. Oh, so, so, so Fuzz Aldrin is a cat. It's not Fuzz and Aldrin. You can't have a cat called Fuzz and a cat called Aldrin. It's, you can. It's and I called will. Fuzz Aldrin. Yeah, come on, that's ridiculous. Yeah, but you put, that's what's ridiculous about it. Like, I quite like the idea of naming a cat Aldrin. I think it's a good name. Aldrin. Aldrin is a good name. You've got to be careful. You say it too many times. Sam will name his next kid Aldrin. So. Aldrin. It's not a terrible <laughs> name. <laughs> no, what Sam's going to name Aldrin? his next kid Call, so it's fine. We didn't, we didn't level up, did we? We were still level 6. No, no, you didn't, you didn't level up. It you didn't level up from burning a village down, but I'll be honest with you, that's a failing on my part for not seeing that as a <laughs> yeah, level I'm gonna up say, for the yeah. event. Like surely milestone, yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta readjust my milestone categories, don't I, for evilness? Yes, yes. Court have leveled up for the child. Give me another minute or two just to sit here, Dom, and then I'm gonna go and get beer. Okay, go and go and. (laughs) Need a minute. (laughs) Look at what you did for a bit. We'll we'll look at this instead. Need a minute. Uh, Mm -hmm. Must up the courage, the enthusiasm to stand up. Yeah, of course, of course. I understand that that's something that requires a significant amount of build up. When you have a bar, you sit down after the bar. It's very difficult to get back. Oh, oh, they're doing a new 40k uh, tabletop RPG. Oh, yeah. Is it going to be? Beautiful? Oh, is that the Imperium that... Melodictum? And I'm yeah, I saw that. Hoping it's you know playable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we have high hopes for. for that. Is, good God, is Dark Heresy hard work? I feel like Dark Heresy is the thing where if every single person has read the rule books religiously, knows all, like, if everybody has DM'd a campaign, you probably have a great time. Yeah. Because everybody knows all the rules. But otherwise, or if you're yeah, like, dear God. All 40k people, so yeah. you all yeah. fucking love rules. <laughs> yeah, actually, if we play 40k, it probably comes across fairly straightforward. Yeah, what if I just build and paint the models, but don't go beyond that? Yeah. Uh. No, you have I got, to some, ne- I got some Necrons on my desk right now, so... It's <laughs> like epic, fine. Yeah, it's Ali. That's what I treat it like. I have a great time. <laughs> I, I, I don't, the only rules I like are rules rules. Of course. Of course. I just yeah. had a yeah. weird moment where I had to take my headset off and check that there wasn't actually a dog barking outside my house, but it's just it's through Ed's mic. <laughs> <laughs> There's no dog barking. What? Ed is barking. Yeah, I was going to say, I've not heard any dogs barking. They're both asleep. Yeah. The only cool, the only cool cool. What the fuck am I hearing? I don't hear any dogs barking either. Yeah. You're it's hearing head barking. You're hearing dogs barking in your own head. Is that is that like a stroke or seizure? I don't Wait, know. is it? Maybe it, was the, maybe it was the start of the music on the on Roll20? I don't know. Is there any music on Roll20? Yeah, it's <laughs> I've turned on the old music. I'm just around. hearing random, random noise effects. Yeah, I, I promise you, I'm not playing sound effects of dogs barking. This isn't that the, sounds this like isn't a lot the, of effort. This isn't the traditional hold music, is it? It's better. Um, oh, maybe not better. This maybe. is exactly the same on hold music I've been playing the entire time. No, it, no. It, it that is. is. Now it is. I still can't hear it. You're playing two songs at once. Oh. Hang on. You it's guys like are hearing too. Uh, the party one. <laughs> I get funky yeah. feeling like even more funky. I, I also had Dean Martin playing in the background. Spotify. Yeah, How is it working? Radio in the background. There we go. That... Okay, yeah. The problem with Roll20 is um, when I just close the close the tab, it stops the music for me, and I return to the tab, there's no music playing. You guys return, and there is music playing, but I can't see what music is playing for you. 
Nice. I can't hear any music. Turn your volume. Well, uh, yeah, turn the volume in Roll20 up if you go into settings. Yeah. Actually, that's the point. If I tweak the volume, does it affect you guys? Like, is that oh, yes. yeah. oh, yeah, now I can hear it. Interesting. There you go, there's some interesting stuff about uh, the character creation and everything. Yeah, I saw this, I saw it mentioned <clears throat> fucking ages ago. How like, easy is it to, to create 200 characters in one go, just just asking for a friend? <laughs> well, friend there are... Uh, you know. There's... Okay, it's not that... So you only... If you pick an origin, a faction, and a role, this. there's yeah. ten origins, nine factions, and six roles. So you can do all of that on dice. Ho ho, baby! <laughs> <laughs> you could just do, cool. yeah, do a d a d ten, a d nine, and a mm. d six, a hundred times over, and you get a hundred different characters. That's cool. Also, get auto generate some forty uh, k names, and you're away. The roles. So what you've got? Interlocutor. I'm never going to play as that because I can't say it. Mystics. Uh, interlo interlocutors. <laughs> it's not a. It's not an easy word to say. It is interlocutors. Interlocutors. Yeah. It just yeah. Interlocutors. Interlocutors. That... No, not savants, warriors, oh, and zealots. <laughs> so penumbras are your rogues. Mystics are your wizards. Savants are. I like in the factions you can be part of the administratum, like <laughs> just like the fucking pencil pushes. Oh, Mate, dude, the administratum yeah, like, are terrifying. The administratum is is possibly the most terrifying and evil yeah. thing in all of 40k. So, <laughs> uh, oh. you will you will be killed, and it will be the result of bureaucracy. Oh yeah, I've I remember yeah. I've seen a couple things about like oh yeah, one guy forgot to move a decimal point and so like an entire star system like <laughs> just gets starved of all like yeah. like deliveries of food. <clears throat> oh God. yeah, I was um reading a uh, in a book recently. One of the characters, he's one of the he's basically like a relatively low level administrator on Terra, like the Imperial like homeworld, and they oh, have Terra. like layer upon layer upon layer of um. People checking like requests for aid from various parts of the universe, mm. and like they each, every every time it comes in, it essentially it gets stamped with like a rating, and it has to go through like various people and get sifted through to check if it's worthwhile being sent to the top. And he literally all he does is like you know, he has them come in, he looks at them, and like he looks at them you know, nine times out of ten, like he says, "Oh yeah, I better send this up," and then he checks the date, and it's like three decades old. So it's just been that long in the admin <laughs> system. God. And it's like it's too late. Um, and there's a whole where one of the there's another character there's another character sets out on like a mm. essentially like a virtually a fucking pilgrimage because she gets given a document by mistake that turns out to be something that she thinks is really important that he that someone like him needs to see to say mm. that this that this this needs to be actioned like urgently. Yeah. And they have like a whole system where you can claim to be like a essentially if you can claim like holy like guidance leading you to take note of for this particular issue and you know, <laughs> and you, tra you travel across like the fucking wastelands of like or whatever it you know, like basically all the different levels of this insane this giant administration and she gets to this guy's office but you because you've seen this character previously you already know that he's no longer there he's been like he was picked out by like someone way more important to come and do a different job and she gets there and he's just gone and she traveled like six months to get there and she just like gives up on life and like cries at the door, and then you don't hear anything more from her. <laughs> it's really bleak. <laughs> right, is that story time with Sam done? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not my story. Oh, go on, Tom. I. <laughs> I just drank some beer, and then I realised it was lager, and I'm disappointed. It tastes That's like shit. That is a shit story. Great. I thought it was ale, then it smelt like cider, but it was actually lager. What what a what a poor story. Yeah. Oh Dom, you've played Dark Tide, haven't you? Oh, uh, quite a lot, yeah. Yeah, you pick a backstory for your character. Yeah. Have you set your home world to Cadia before? Yeah, yeah. A couple of my characters. And you get given a uh, 
instead of getting a picture of a planet, you just get like rocks and yeah, dust. Yeah, you just get a load of rocks and dust. <laughs> there's, a, there's a load of unique void li- voice lines about it as well. Nice. But there's, a, oh, there's an God. interaction you can have where like the character's like, oh, you know, for Cadia. Or like, yeah, we'll do it like we do on Cadia. And then one of the other characters will be like, what? Collapse at the last minute. <laughs> and you're like, you shut your whole mouth. You know? <laughs> uh, Tom, that image is quite literally making me feel sick. Yeah, Stavros does that to people. <laughs> I got a pint of directors. That, that, that been... All right. You're welcome. <clears throat> Naked men aside. Can anybody tell me what happened last week? Grand arsony. Grand arsony. Grand arsing around. <laughs> Arse Anthony's. Um... <laughs> Two shoot two two shoot Lu two mm-hmm. became two halves of two shoot Lu two. That is correct. You you returned from meeting with the footmen. Uh, you encountered a gentleman by the name of anybody. Uh, Forto Ted. Forto Ted. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, sorry. You I'm made start, a deal. I'm start highlighting these. <laughs> You made a deal with uh, Fortoed Ted that in exchange for a pair of boots, he would uh, bring you back as much gunpowder as he could possibly get. You agreed you'd give him even more boots if he did that. Mm -hmm. You then returned to Two Shoed Lou, who was rather annoyed that you'd brought him the shoes instead of destroying them as he'd hoped to maintain scarcity of shoes. Uh, you were attempting to persuade him that what you'd done was a good idea when your cat decided to uh, charm one of Two Shoed Lou's goons, uh, who promptly, just as you think you were starting to make some headway with him, stabbed Two Shoed Lou in the chest and stole his shoes and became Two Shoed Lou too. He then told you of his strategy to cause a humanitarian crisis, forcing the Good League of Good to arrive and thus enabling you to steal their gunpowder. Instead of faffing about with some fancy thing, you decided that the quicker route would be, let's just burn the town down. Uh, upon starting to do that, the uh, the firefighting golems burst out of nowhere and started attacking you. Two Shoed Lu 2 was, as you said, became into uh, two sets of one Shoed Lu. Did um, anyone pick his shoes? Yeah, one of you did. I don't know. Yeah, you, we definitely did. Yeah, so, somebody make sure they have a box. Two shoe, Lou two's two shoes. Yep, that's yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> After you'd burned down the town and fought off the firefighting golems, as you were leaving, it started to rain quite heavily, putting out most of the fire, and you spotted just off the coast the approaching ship of the Good League of Good. And that is where we left things. Mm. <clears throat> is, it, is the flag that's a smug Aryan face? Why does it have to be Aryan? Why do you think good people are all white, Sam? <laughs> yeah, Sam. It's, uh, poor. We've got Sam's, some, been, uh... Sam's been watching Hail Honey, I'm Home. <laughs> <laughs> How quickly can we ruin Richard's... Uh, <laughs> is the flag a swastika? <laughs> yeah, the Good League of Good, well known for their ties to Nazism. Yep. Yeah. Why is Kanye here? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> yeah, even worse, the flag is just Kanye's face. <laughs> I hate just... people talking shit about the Nazis. With stupid plastic glasses. <laughs> they just all wear Yeezys as well. Okay, I should remind you guys that you guys are the baddies in this situation. Yeah. You know, to are be we clear, are we the really? Good League of Good is not just a name made up by a secret evil organization. They are actually good people, generally. Ah, oh, they're going to be Ish. dead people soon. They're going to be dead people. Exactly, yes. Okay, splendid. Right. As you're kind of positioning yourself on the edge of town, you're kind of close to the docks. That's the time they're going off as you see the ship of the Good League of Good approaching. Now, you're, you're aware that that ship is full of gunpowder in some way, shape, or form. Unfortunately, <clears throat> it does not actually dock straight out the docks. Instead, you can see that they're dropping anchor some way out to sea, 
and several uh, smaller rowboats are coming to shore. What time of day is it? It is pretty late. We're getting we're getting to night time now. How many boats are there? Uh, I'll say you can see about four or five approaching. Have we got any cannons nearby? You do not see any cannons near you, but you can who's roll got, if you want. Who's yeah, got, got good eyesight? Hang on, hang on. We can roll for what? No, 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 no. Who's got good eyesight? I've got dark vision. That's... Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Why are you interrupting? <laughs> I'm trying to just work out what the situation is before I just shoot it with a cannon. We were about, no, we were about what to get cannon? A we were about to get a roll opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> and you've ruined it. I'm just going to tell out that you didn't have a roll opportunity. I just like it like Andy, actually. So, roll yeah. perception. Sorry, yeah. Can I ask, what cannon is this you keep referring to? A big one. You're not helping me here. The, the one, the one that we recovered at the end of last session. The, the one on the dock side. The one on the key side. No, you didn't. We, I, I didn't give you a we, cannon. Did we not? Did we not end up in a in a in a fort? No. no. <laughs> Your made-up version of this campaign is very interesting. It's wrong, but it's interesting, I suppose. Does this count as gaslighting? <laughs> Uh, no, I think it just counts as players getting themselves disadvantage on some key. Did we not end up in the Martello out. Tower? When we got that, it was we got all those legendary items. Yeah, I mean, of yeah. course, yeah. To be fair, I have noted, I was going through the items as I, I, like, I've added a bunch more that I can give to you guys when you're good or bad, depending on the circumstances, and did kind of realise, like, oh man, they do not use some of these. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, tell you what. As Andy's already done it, can people roll me perception to uh, get a closer look at the ships that are approaching? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Gene coming in with the save, it looks like. Anybody got... Is that everybody? There's Salem. For a second, I was worried Ragnar was going to have the best perception roll. I mean, honestly, it was really looking that way, and <laughs> that is upsetting, because that's not a good perception roll. Um, <laughs> I'm just adding everybody on to something very quickly. <clears throat> very good. Right, okay. As you're kind of keeping an eye on things. Is the... Yep. Assumedly, this is a port of, or dock, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. Are yep. we talking like jetties on posts out into the water or like stone quaysides? What are we dealing with here? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you to a map very quickly and you'll get a much better idea of what we're talking about. But on. If you'll just give me moment as I sort something out. Now, you're going to notice this, this map's going to be very, very cluttered. And it'll all make sense soon enough. Okay, uh, you guys are up in the top right. <clears throat> now, you're going to see a bunch of white squares. Yeah, it's a big map, and you're going to see a bunch of white squares. Okay? Oh, a bunch of white squares. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're the cannons. <clears throat> the fires. Yes, so it is quite dark. I was looking at doing the like the D and D lighting and all that stuff, but I'll be honest with you, it it was really hard for me to see, and it would be even worse for you guys. So what I've done is the uh, the tiles that are inside of those white squares, you're you're in full light of the of the lanterns, but it's quite dark. So if you're outside of those, you've got advantage on stealth rolls. You can hide much easier, that sort of thing. It's quite dark right now. Okay. No. Okay. Sorry. Where are we? Oh, there. Sorry, I was zoomed in. I was in like the way top right. Cool. Um, are those, yeah. are the, I'm assuming the boats are coming from like directly south. Yeah. So the boats are coming from the south. There are a number of small rowboats, and with your perception roll, I'm going to say, uh, Gene, you're able to spot that uh, in the in the front three or so, you can see what looks like to be significant figures are stood up atop them. One appears to be a man fully clad in plate mail. Uh, the other is a uh, is a dragonborn, a blue dragonborn of some kind. Um, and the last one appears to be somebody with a with a large cloak covering them. I mean, so you can't really see I'm assuming if there's five boats yep. and a minimum of probably what at least four people are boat. Mm -hmm. We are somewhat out 
outnumbered. Yes. So it's direct confrontation with all of them may be unwise. Yeah. So we there could. are quite a lot of them arriving. We could we could wait until they're all on land, sabotage four of the boats and steal the fifth. That's a tall what? order. Are they are they do we can we see if mm -hmm. the ship that they've come from is pretty much empty? Or does it look like there's still a crew on there? Um, you can try and make a specific roll to see it, but it's pretty far away, so you're going to struggle. What if I can I unless... Can I have you guys got anything to give you special sight of that? I can squint. squint. No, but just... Uh, can, I, can I stealth? Like... Oh, yeah, go for it. If people can roll me stealth rolls if you want to try and hide. Yeah, I want to do. I see what I'm doing right now. Yep. Jumping in the sea. You're jumping in the sea, okay. Do you... Ooh. Ooh. You're not... Um, you can't breathe underwater, can you? Yes, you can. He's a physibus. Oh, he can. Okay. Physibus. Amphibious. Amphibious. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Um. Okay. So we've got caught with an eighteen. Salem with an eighteen. Anybody oh, else would, rolling? Oh, did I have advantage? Oh yeah, we all. You guys all have advantage. Oh, in which in case, the then I, I won't use that knack. Then sorry, my misunderstanding. That's fine. In the stay underwater or um so is your plan to like stay close to the surface or are you gonna go deep i'm i'm slipping i'm slipping quietly into the sea and going you know a couple a meter or two under the surface okay um, okay um i mean i i i'll say that you can roll you roll stealth with advantage but you are gonna be especially hard to spot can i uh, yep. I'm gonna like jump in the water as well and kind of just like hold onto the back of Nuggets like trousers, like belt or something to get dragged get along with him. Can can you breathe underwater or do you not breathe? I do not need to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I was just like, yeah, I feel like Ed wouldn't do this if he couldn't well, breathe. Yeah, just, a, okay, can, you I'm... jump in the water and drown. Like... Yeah, I can. I'm, <laughs> I'm just gonna go it. with yeah. yeah, like pretending to be like a floating corpse if I get seen. <laughs> Ed, why don't you just tie some lead weights to your feet and walk on the bottom of the foot ocean? <laughs> like, the, oh, like the fucking like the skeletons from Pirates of the Caribbean. Hundred <laughs> percent, buddy. Yeah, go take a walk. Okay, yeah, I'm so just, I, yeah, I'm going with Nugget. <laughs> yeah, all right. So Nugget with a twenty-one, uh, right. Gene with a twenty-three. I think it's just you, Call. We're waiting on. Yeah, and Ragnar, so actually, before I get too crowded when rolling, yeah, my proposition. Mm -hmm. Is I'd, I'd like to do my swim speed. I assume would leave. Oh, marry half, Tom, Sam. You're half married. my <laughs> half my movement. Okay. Is that is that? No, I'm just asking. Is that how my swim speed works? I think it is, isn't it? Uh, I think I so. Sure. Yeah, unless you've got a specific swim speed. Yeah. I don't believe I do. Yeah, you wouldn't. It's a minor yeah. or paladin. That's, yeah. Um, yeah. So I would like to. I'm also wearing plate. So yep. I am not a floaty boy. Mm -hmm. I would like because there's a lot of posts on these walkways yep. like they're yep. fairly close together mm -hmm. my intention is to get in the water and essentially just float underneath the like be hold on to the post underneath the walkway position yourself underneath okay and just sort of you know, quite quietly move from post to post so i can move around so i'll start mm -hmm. like here so i'm nice and not visible but obviously okay. I'm underneath if that's all right all right that's uh, fair enough what, icon, yeah. what icon can i use for that um yeah, I was going to say, everybody who, yeah, feel free to move yourself about the map. You've got enough time that you can possibly get to anywhere on this map before the ships start to arrive. Oh, in that case, I'm not staying there. Yeah. I'm going there. <laughs> I'm going to go okay. under, the, under the deck, like here. I, I, will, this, also, I will also sand roll pebbles. Uh, looks like sand. Yeah, I'm gonna sand. drop onto the sand. Okay. And then hug this wall. Uh, I'm assuming if I'm hugging this wall, that lantern won't shine yeah, if down you're, there. Yeah, if you're here, <laughs> but if you're hugging the wall, I'll say, yeah, that's that's fine, yep. Cool. Well, I get advantage for being underneath the decking? Um... If for people on top of the decking. Yeah, yeah, so I'll, I'll say you have advantage because you're underwater, you're hiding in the decking. So we'll call that a straight roll then. <laughs> we'll, call, yeah, we'll call that a straight roll because you're heavy armor. So yeah, 15. All right, that's that's a that's a pretty good roll. I, I like that yeah. the 20 is grayed out because you can't get it. It's yeah. quite good, though, yeah. That is quite good. Um, So 
Uh, Richard, what is Ragnar doing then? Uh, standing in the middle, making no standing attempts to hide. In the middle. <laughs> making absolutely no attempts to hide. Splendid. No, okay. Ragnar, Ragnar likes a fight. Ragnar does like a fight. All right, Tom, what is Salem Fluffy Muffin Sunday Buzz Aldrin doing? Um, he's lurking in the dark and <laughs> making yep. weird like humming noises. Couldn't couldn't Salem just like plonk his box down next to some crates and they would just be like, oh, it's a box of cats, you know? Yeah. No one bat, no one bat an eyelid. Good like, oh, <laughs> League of Good could not resist a box of cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In- interesting. Yeah. A box of cats. You're just yeah, gonna I'm hide in plain sight or sit, also, sit in the dark. Can, he's also conveniently close to the crane. Yeah. That's true. Mm. That's true. Oh, is that not a cannon? That looks like a cannon. It's a what's, crane. Oh, okay. What's this? My God! What's this arrangement? Is that a winch? Which part? Yeah, sorry, I didn't see you ping. Maybe that's a mortar. Uh, that that's not how you, that's is... not how you talk about women, Sam. Yeah, it looks like it's a winch. Yeah. Mm. It looks like it's a broken one, though. Oh. Yeah, I clearly handcrafted this map, so I know. So what? What? What is this? Is that a lighthouse? Uh, so that appears to be a uh, a dock house for for a, a slightly larger. For a slightly larger boat. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you've got all these kind of dockings here with with kind of ruined ships um, at them. That one appears it was originally intended for for slightly larger boats. So, so I just quickly fix one thing. Oh, there's a little oh. boat there that's available. Mm, I noticed that too. There is a couple of small rowboats that are present. Still right. floating. Mm-hmm. For a flanking maneuver. Crazy. <laughs> That's for a mighty broadside. There's also an anchor, a massive anchor over here. All right, are we all reasonably happy with our position? And your plan is, if I'm understanding this correctly, your plan is to wait for them to arrive. Why? Let them get. Why, why don't we? Them... Right. Why don't we just get on that boat and go to the ship and sail past them and be like, bye? <laughs> they'll turn around. They'll turn around. We we'll only wait until they get here. And let them get on the land. We can paddle past them then. And then. <laughs> Hold all their boats, and then leave, and then take the last one. No, what we do is we wait until they all charge off well, of their boat, but, trying to find us, and in, then we get on their boat, and then we nick in it. In that case, then that, just, that's what I said, Tom. But there's five case, boats, so we have to then, sink and I four. suggest that the cats and Richard and Court collectively sabotage these two boats so that they're also useful. I'll put tokens down on those boats for you guys so that we can easily identify if they are working make, or sabotage. Make them useless. Are there people still on this boat? No, those are just those are just empty rowboats. Or prepare them in such a way that they can be made useless quickly, so that if we end up needing to use them, they're not already useless. Yeah, you've also missed one, by the way. But yeah, missed the other one. Uh, here. Yeah. Nah, perfect. Um, it's really hard to. There we go. <laughs> All right. I appreciate that token. I right, put a bicycle lock around yeah. it. Doesn't... Or blow a hole in it with a cannon. I'm going to try and right. pull <clears throat> some yep. of the nails out of the boards underneath this so that when they put it into the water, the, it would just it would look useful. But the So you want to try and pulling. pull out some nail. Are you going to do this with your fingers or? No, knife. Right. All right. See you in the morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think you need to do like a couple of boards. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I'm not au fait on how to sabotage a boat, guys. Where's <laughs> all this fucking ridicule? What have you done in my life? It's just yeah, pulling what? nails out of boards. I'm like, that is like, quite a thing to do. Fucking boat sabotage? Yeah. You're supposed to pull nails out of the fucking knife. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a hammer? Like, how else am I supposed to sabotage the boat quietly? I know. Just get a fucking sledgehammer and punch a hole well, through it. Well, I'm pretty sure you have some big fucking swords or something. I'm a rope. I have a rapier or a knife. Like sounds like a rapier is a sword. Yeah. So <laughs> that... stab it between the boards and wiggle a hole and then let the water in. Oh, nice and really noisy. Yeah, really noisy. They're not here yet, Dan. Let's get on with it. <laughs> right, I'll do that. What is the cat? Do? Can't the cats just pick them up with their mind or something and throw it against the wall? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have so many magic users. The cats, the cats can't about... control things telepathically. They just convince people to do things for, for them. For the love of God, can our, can our uh, bard do something? Because I'm out in the sea 
having a <clears throat> how how dry is that boat? Looking? I'm going to do this publicly for you guys, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, what a shame! Right, they're getting closer. I can't believe getting that rolled a twenty. Honestly, um, with that, you start to see the boats arriving. So, boats. Yeah. So there are five and these boats. instructions. We'll sabotage the boats, or maybe don't. Maybe just make it so it's ready to be sabotaged in case we need to use them. It's fucking angry. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Yeah, Andy, your instructions were shit. Tokens. Oh, oh, I'm just putting ideas on the table. I'm not the. King. I was also putting ideas on the table, and I got ridiculed for it, Andy. So fuck you. <laughs> Dan, Dan, <laughs> shit maybe, in the boat. Dan, maybe stop being such a little bitch and defend your proposition rather than just moan about it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to stab a hole in the boat and I'm not going to care about how noisy it is, just to spite the team. <laughs> okay. is, it working, is it not a working dock? Some noise about it. Uh, there are, you know, this this is a, this is probably used to be a functioning dock, mm. but it quite clearly is decayed and not been properly used by anybody in a while. Right. Mm. Can I start oh. swimming underwater? Towards, or do you want me to roll? Okay. So Actually. these boats are going to come in and dock. I've got an so, idea. Can I just push that boat yep. out to sea instead? Um, yeah, I'll say, tell you what, give me a, uh, give me a, an athletics roll. So uh, it can wash back up here. Shove. Sorry, Andy? So it can wash back up here. <laughs> Don't know where the tide's going, in or out. Yeah, as long as the tide's uh, in, as long as it gets, uh, as long as it gets uh, away. 14. Oh, a 14. Okay, with a 14, you're able to give it a good enough shove to kind of get it bobbing a little bit. Okay. So. Yeah, it's not like fully in, but it's the kind of thing if you were to jump in and shove off with an oar, yeah, you'd, you'd be okay. Cool. Okay. I'm going to give it another shove if that's possible, to so try and like get it, even if I have to go in the water, try and get it properly out to sea. Um, yeah, okay, you'll have advantage because it's already kind of in. Do me to run um, another? Yeah, go for it, roll me another athletics. Yeah. If we, are we still moving freely? If we are, I'd like to come and stab a hole in this boat. Um, okay, hang on. Uh, all right. Tell you what. Here's how we're gonna do this. Do, 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 do. Uh, because realistically, you're not really rolling free anymore. If you guys can roll me initiative, you've got you've got one thing that you can do, and we'll cycle through people's initiative orders, and then these boats are gonna properly arrive. Okay. Cool. Fair enough. That seems reasonable. Yeah. That's my best initiative the whole campaign. And it's not even gonna be used for actual combat. It's just used to punch a boat. Oh, I'm sorry, um, these combat initiatives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Massive... All right, Tom, are you doing anything, or are you just rubbing yourself up against things? Um, I need to select my token because I'm a moron. Oh, did you? Oh, you got a twenty. Well, you can have the twenty. Just, just roll on your token, too. and I'll give you twenty. Yes. You you can have and 20. I'm not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we maybe we should have set an ambush up for him in the building. Okay, Salem, are you going to do anything? Um, the boats are arriving over there. I probably yep. should go over there. Mm -hmm. Um, I can use uh, my uh, feline agility. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can so I can do double speed. Is yeah, it worth, did, did Tom take the opportunity to put himself somewhere on the map when we were all given the opportunity? Yeah, 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 he did, but he I just chose myself, very far up north. So, one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six. Yep. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and you're still, you know, just going to be hiding in the shadows as a box yes. of cats. So. Yeah, lurking. Lurking, excellent. Okay. I mean, to be honest, he's probably just going to hiss at anyone who comes near, isn't he? Yeah. And they'll be like, "Oh, that's a box of stray cats. Better stay away. Might get rabies." Or, "Oh, a box of cats. <laughs> Let's yeah. pet them." Let's yeah. All right. Them back to the mothership. And then... Anything else for you, Tom? Um, actually, I can cast all sorts of shit, can't I? You can, yeah. Uh, you cast destroy on all the boats, but one. Oh, destroy, <laughs> destroy boats. Oh, yeah, I forgot you had that spell. Word word sink. <laughs> What's the? Well, how far away are they? Uh, so I put them on the map. They're quite a way away from you right now. 
Oh, my father's spell is 120 feet. Uh, well, you could cast it on Ed if you want, you know. Chill touch. <laughs> um, <laughs> I would rather not. I'm quite I, can, I, can, I can make a distraction. I'm out range is 30 feet. Start a fire! I could... I could... It's only ended well for us before. Start a fire? Everything's on fire, isn't it? No, no, the fire has been them. mostly put out because okay. of the rain. The rain I'm has stopped to... now, though. <laughs> okay. I can't believe this is working. Okay, so this, um, <laughs> this fire here, I uh, can... Which one? Can I do... Can I, like, just... Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. Just uh, inflame so... it again. Get it, um... soak it back up. Soak it back up. Yeah. What? No, Just Tom, they're lanterns. Yeah, they're lanterns, Tom. They're lanterns. They're meant to be lit. Oh my but god. They can, they can explode though. Oh, I thought they were. You I, thought could. These were I thought these were like campfires. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> campfires. Yeah. Yeah. campfires on the wooden docks. <laughs> yeah, campfires <laughs> everywhere, really. I'm they're looking at them so also. so zoomed out. I can't actually see what any of. Why are, are you looking so zoomed why out? Would be, why would there be thirty campfires? <laughs> I'm looking Lots at it so zoomed out I can't actually I, mean, I can't see okay. no. well, Andy by that logic why would there be 30 fucking lanterns on an empty dock <laughs> yeah, say, someone's gone round tonight and lit all these okay can I, I can I use chill touch mm -hmm. but chill touch to uh, extinguish a lamp to bitch slap a lamp onto the wooden oh you want jetty. to specifically hit it down onto the jetty <laughs> yeah to to what, try and make it catch fire or just yeah. cause havoc? Okay, make certainly. It catch fire. Give uh, me a ranged attack. Let's see if it works then. Go on. Uh, I guess we got to move pretty quick then. No, I'll do it over here. <laughs> <laughs> where, are you, where are you guys? Oh, All yeah, you're fine. Place. You're fine over there. Yep. Over I'm here. Keep the fire over here somewhere. It's then that's, that's land that way. Yeah, there might be explosives. Yeah, but we're also there. <laughs> we are here. I'm going to start rolling a d20 openly if you're not careful, Tom. Okay. Um, I'm going to say this one. Okay. Make the attack roll. Go for it. Um, I'll just use any attack. Um, I don't have a chill, chill touch attack. Get on with it. <laughs> okay. It does hit. And you successfully knock the lantern onto the ground where it shatters and the uh, the oil, it's an oil lamp, uh, the oil does ignite and start a small fire. So I suppose the uh, s the square of illumination remains. Uh, I don't have a handy fire token. Don't worry, so... I'll do it. Yeah, okay, splendid. Just some kind of fire. Sim that's okay. <laughs> Beautiful. Wait, can I drop stuff on the map? Uh, possibly. Have you got a fire thing? Is there a fire? I'm a DM. I've got a lot of fire things. But yeah, it's just gonna fire. you're not a DM in this game. But yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> no, I can't. I think that is the best uh, fire I've ever seen. I can't, yeah. can't get any better than that. I have lots of cool fire to like icons, but I can't get them to go on the map. So, bad luck. Yeah, I've got nothing that really works for this. <laughs> if you if you got a better roll twenty, <clears throat> no, can't get oh. it to work. Oh, if you can get that to work, you can just search like in the in search bar and it'll find stuff on the line. You can just drag it straight into the map. Oh, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> it's, it's dope. I've tried to make it work many times. I've given up. Anyway. All right. Nom. That is Salem's turn then. I'm saying it rather than asking him. Nugget, you, go. What are you doing before they arrive? Uh, My movement speed in water. Oh, did we, did we get a easy. short rest? No. Uh, you did not. We didn't. Okay, fuck. Uh, yeah, no, pretty quick, didn't it? Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Can I dash? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So thirty-five. Oh, I don't need it really. Fair warning: these boats are not like stopping here. This is just where they are right now. So if you want to try and do something to them while they're passing, by all means, just. Yeah. No, I'm gonna. Can I swim underneath this one? Yeah. Like, use my sticky, my sticky finger pads to like. 
clamp onto the bottom of it, like the very bottom. <laughs> Um, alright, give me an athletics check to hold on, but I like it. I don't think... And then he's going to drill a glory hole in the bottom and fuck it. You're able to <laughs> grab hold, and you are now stuck onto the bottom of that one, holding on. <coughs> he, bro- he will both fuck the boat in the literal sense and the metaphorical sense, because there'll be a hole in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. He'll fuck it, but by plugging it with his dick, it will stop it from yeah. sinking. So you know. <laughs> yeah, but then when when the good league of good cut his dick off, it will then sit. Then the moral sinks and they'll lose. Uh, He's sticking them with a moral conundrum, you know. With uh, I'm gonna fuck it with my toad chode. Toad chode. <laughs> I cannot believe that's not come up before. Uh, <laughs> I I don't want to know what that looks like. <clears throat> Google it. In my in my head, it just looks like a warty nipple. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Something, yeah, just All like right. a crazy frog, but just more grotesque. Oh, God. Anything else for you, then, Andy? Nice episode, people. The toad show. Anything else for you, Andy? No. Good. <laughs> All right. Dan, what does Court do? Um, Court is going to... I was assuming... Uh, uh, well, I, I'll push this off. Oh, I um... thought you already did. Oh, okay, as I didn't know yeah. whether or not that counted before the tunnel. Yeah, 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 that's already so that is now floating. Okay, so anyway, I'm working out how many guys are on these boats. In which case, then one, two, three, four, five, six. Can I climb to being like underneath this? So I'm like climbing underneath it at all. I jump up and hold on. Oh, what? Yeah, be so be under the decking, but kind of holding on to it. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll allow that with acrobatics or athletics. I'll go with acrobatics because A, I'm better at it, and B, I'm very small and light. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am not. <laughs> no, no, you are not. Ooh. Oh. Uh, so, Court, you uh, you try and clamber up and hang on to it, and uh, you unfortunately you slip. You're holding on to the wrong kind of board. It just slips right out your fingers, and you land on your back in the ground and let out a Ugh! sound involuntary as you land. Anything um, else for well, you? That's my movement speed used up and my action. Mm-hmm. So, yep. no. <laughs> that's it. Okay. I can't see the very bottom of roll 20 again. The chat is just fucked again. I don't know what's going on with that. Oh, no. I so, my character on the bio, his weight is yep. consisted of 271. Right. And I did a quick Google. Okay. And if it was if it was two hundred and seventy one pounds, I'd be about nineteen stone, which sounds about right. If I yeah. was two hundred and seventy one kilos, I'd be forty two stone. Yeah, you're not two hundred and seventy one kilos. No, I am. Maybe with all your armor there. on, but <laughs> yeah. So no, I am definitely. Uh, well, yeah, I'm. Yeah, definitely in pounds. What are you doing then, Cole? Uh, Cole, I'm. Where am I? I'm over here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck that boat. With my with my halberd. Uh, all right, roll to fuck. seduce. I mean, um, okay, right. <clears throat> all right, give me an attack roll. Are you trying to be right. stealthy about this, or you're not? You're just gonna uh, smash it up. I'm just wondering whether I could. No, fuck it. I'm just gonna fucking jab it in the side with my halberd. Okay. Now plow. It's nine months later. Jameson arrives. <laughs> yeah, it's one that Samson is half minotaur, half boat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. <laughs> All right, Cole, you uh, swing about your halberd, kind of eye up the boat, trying to work out where's good, and then you realise the halberd everywhere's good, and smash it into the side. Uh, you cause a great crack down the side of it, and it does indeed start to bob awkwardly to the side, and is now steadily sinking in front of you. And with that, Anything else I will. Make, I'm going to make my way. Sort of downtown. Sort of East. <laughs> West, even. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. Okay. Now the turn I've been waiting for. <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing? Guess. I would like to rage. Just standing uh, on the ground. The enemy has fucking just screaming at them. <laughs> 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 They're rowing up. Ah, but not moving towards them. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to walk ah. and stand in this bit of light. Yep. 
and try and gauge who the biggest person on the boats is. We could just we could just all get on one of the boats and just go to the thing and leave Richard here shouting at them. All right, roll me a perception check, please. Oh. Yep. The issue there, Andy, would be how long he would be shouting. <laughs> Indefinitely. Mm, I'm not for sure. Okay. Is, is a four good? Uh, no. Um, you okay. look at the boats and you're like, oh, hey, there's people on those. I don't know how big they are. They look tiny. They're really far away. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably take all of them. They're tiny. Yeah. <sighs> Anything else for Ragnar? How thick is Ragnar? Oh, very. Uh, six. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ragnar's got the intelligence of the average potted plant. So. What is an average potted plant? Um, a six. Probably a fan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Matt, to be honest fun. with you, a potted plant with an intelligence of six is a fern really is quite an average plant. potted plant, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think it's four to be able to understand language. <laughs> so. <laughs> they can exactly. understand language, but, like, you know. <laughs> Not really. So I mean, you're above Jameson, but distinctly below Sam. Is what we're call, calls a calls an eight. So mm -hmm. he can he can talk, but we're probably talking. The I, I really would. Do, do we have anyone who's more than a ten intelligence? No. We don't make smart parties. No. no. Hey, you know we we I have in the past. Yeah, that's true. You made a wizard once. Yeah. Killian was. Fucking clever. Oh, Gros right. was fucking in clever. Anything else for you, Ragnar? Are you done? Uh, no, that's Ragnar done. He's Ragnar's still just done. trying to assess. And for the biggest person. Did, wait, did Ragnar not G. rage? No, it's no, a correct. class action. I'll just do it when they turn up. <laughs> All right, Gene, how about you? Um, I'm going to try and just bob in the water uh, just in case I do get seen to look mm -hmm. like as much like a Ooh. dead body as possible, but I kind of want to get a good look at. Um, the important looking figures and I really want to if I can try and listen and hear any of them talking okay or especially if they react to like the fire or Ragnar <clears throat> but I think yeah. I'm I, hopefully close enough as they come in okay all right give me a give me a perception roll let's see uh -huh. how you do uh huh uh, da, da, da. uh perception oh, shit <laughs> I was really hoping somebody would get good perception, but okay. Um, so you kind of bob about trying to look like a corpse. It's kind of helpful because at one point you kind of look aside and realize, oh, hey, that's an actual corpse in the world. Oh, that's great. Okay, perfect. <laughs> there, are, there are more than a few corpses probably bobbing around here. So you, you fit in pretty well. well that's so you try and angle yourself to get a good listen, but you can't really make anything out. You can just hear the steady sound of rowing as the ships approach. So, yeah. anything else for you, Gene? Uh, nah, not right now. No, okay, right. Fair enough, then. With that, I'm going to clear the turn order <clears throat> as these ships arrive and start to dock. So, one of them is going to dock here, right in front of Gene. Another one <laughs> here, right by the fire. One of them is going to dock here. I'm leaving your one till last, Andy. Another one here. And Andy, oh, your one. I'm not bringing your token with it, so remember it's this one. Your one pulls up just alongside here. Okay, now... <clears throat> immediately, you start to see some figures getting off of them, and you get the idea, as I'm going to just start placing down some tokens, there are three people who appear to be in positions of command amongst those who've arrived. A um, man all in plate, a blue dragonborn, and a man covered in cloak and robes. I've put down the tokens of those leaders first, so you can get a good idea. Is there, um, mm -hmm. just to interject, are they yep. tying off the boats to the jetties or are they just kind of hopping out of them? Uh, they're tying off their boats. Can, I, can I take the opportunity to, before they tie this one on, mm -hmm. try and like swim it away from the jetty as if it's like... Uh, as if it's there. kind of just gone before away. Before they got the chance to tie it off. Uh, okay, tell you what, because um, you have a swim speed and you're very strong and you're already clinging onto it, I just want you to roll... 
a stealth check with advantage to get away with it. I'm going to say that's perfectly something that a, that a Grung is capable of doing. Thank God you've got advantage. <laughs> As I oh, no. Oh, that would have been funny. <laughs> would have been hilarious if it was just like, hey, there's a frog on our boat. Driving away with our fucking boat. <laughs> fucking mutant frogs in there. We have place. literally been here for two seconds and somebody's stolen our boat. <laughs> you just want to drift it out to you know, somewhere like here or something, just so it's... Like, okay. Oh, um, I'll say if you if you move your token, I'll move the boat to where you are. Um, yeah, you seem to have you seem to have gotten away with it. Um, move the boat to you as well. Uh, as you hear one of them, kind of slightly, you know, there's a there's a bit of commotion as kind of the boat moves away, and you hear somebody say, "Oh, you let it go." Oh, for oh. just a couple of squares further south, so that it's not like can't be reached by jumping off of here. Yeah, sure. We'll move it there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. All right, as I finish putting on some more tokens. Uh, so there's kind of an uneven amount per boat. Uh, but generally, you notice that quite a few of them are congregating around the fire. Uh, as I just place down the last ones. There we go. Excellent. So as I make sure they're actually on squares, because I suck at that. <clears throat> All right, I almost immediately. Hmm? Shift, they will snap to squares. Oh, uh, really? Okay. Uh, I've done it now. Fuck it. <laughs> uh, you notice almost immediately those who are next to the fire, uh, some of them start holding up their hands and you can see kind of water is flowing out of their wrists that appears to be kind of steadily putting out the fire. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extinguish this ridiculous amount of flame. Um, it's actually quite hard to get rid of. Because there's quite a lot of it. Because you people are children. Yes. <laughs> and so you're Later. excited by getting to do some colouring. <laughs> now they immediately put out the fire. And the man in full plate strides towards you, Ragnir. <clears throat> he stands in front of you. Now, this is... He appears to be a human in full plate. Uh, but you notice that he's not uh he doesn't appear to be built like a uh like a fighter in fact you would say this is this is a holy man who happens to be wearing plate so i'm going to show that to players this is the iron cleric does that come through yes i hate him already yes. excellent good uh, immediately, as everybody else is kind of shuffling themselves around the dock and moving about generally, the cleric stands in front of you, Ragnir, looks down at you, and offers a hand to you silently. It appears to be he's offering a handshake. Can I? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, is he? Is his hand armoured? Yeah. Okay, uh, can I try and th throw him off the dock? <laughs> <laughs> so, you want to what? Grab him and throw him? Yeah. Yeah. If you go okay. from, like, to the right and behind you, you can land in the water. Welcome to Brimhaven, nerd! <laughs> <laughs> that is sort of the aim to get him sort of there. Okay. <laughs> it's a traditional thing. It's like when you arrive in Hawaii and they give you all the lays, you get the traditional, like, dunking. <laughs> The traditional suplexing. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, right, fine, yep. Um, that'll be a contested strength check, so I guess make me a, make me a strength check. I told you you should have raged. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that is bad. Let me just fucking raged. make sure of one thing very quickly. I mean, yeah, 13 would have been much better. Hey, better is better, buddy. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Fucking sassy head over there. Love it. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I have to make sure the character sheet actually works. So I'm just testing that. Yep. Okay. Testing, testing. Um, <laughs> un unsurprisingly, oh. almost, as you feel it wasn't your best attempt, Ragnar, as you go to grab him, uh, his hand just immediately snatches back and is holding your wrist. So you haven't really got a good lock on him. You've only kind of got one hand on him. As he just is holding your hand and continues to stare at you silently. 
uh, then I would like to rage. <laughs> okay, splendid. Uh, make the roll, please. I, I really hope he turns into a wear cat in front of him. <laughs> I mean, yeah! Right. No, <laughs> just... <laughs> okay, and what is this? So, whenever a creature within 10 feet of you hits an attack, they take force damage equal to your con modifier. This seems like the perfect one for right now. And I get a plus okay. two to AC. <laughs> and you get a plus two to your AC. So immediately you get very angry at this reaction and feel yourself ripping apart and transforming into your tiger self. Uh, so rippling arcane magic covers around you and immediately his hand is kind of knocked away from your paw now, I suppose, as you now stand in front of him on your hind legs as a were tiger. He's about the same height as you. He is a very tall man. He is, eh? As he continues to look at you completely silently, you can hear as the other soldiers dotted around start to immediately, you know, those cries of, what the fuck? Oh, God! Uh, and they scatter a bit and move around as they are panicked. Now... In um, the commotion... Yeah, go. I was going to say, I'm going to give other people the opportunity. Yeah, go. Um, could I get Sheila to try and untether this boat here? <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Um, honestly, mostly just because I want you, t I want Sheila to make a sleight of hand roll. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like sleight of hand could be like ninety nine percent of Sheila's rolls. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's. Sheila, just, Sheila tries to communicate, make a slight chat. <laughs> I mean, um, really, it is. Yeah. I mean, the only skill she has is stealth, so it's just a dex check, I guess. Uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Oh, Sheila! Oh, Very good, very good. All right, well, Sheila is successful. You know, she if there's one thing Sheila knows how to do, it's uh, hand tricks, I suppose. She's she's tied me down from enough enough times that I've got myself tied up in ropes in the office. She's tied you down, not untied you. She ties yep. you down. Yep. Okay, interesting. Uh, so yeah, Sheila is able to expertly undo the uh, rope binding <sighs> this boat. So anybody else? Yes. All right. Anybody else? While Ragnar is turning into a tiger and causing a political incident. Yes. Um, yeah. Are you going to allow Nugget to move anymore for now? Um, I'll say you can because Ragni has created a big enough distraction. Like, in that case, can I gonna... can I move up to here? Can I? All right, I'll, I'll do that. I'll let you. you okay. Ready them? Uh, uh, so yeah, Nugget's over there. One, Go two, yep. three, four, five, six. Okay. Are you still underneath? Yeah. I am still underneath. However, okay. yep. These uh, these walkways are sure are rickety. They certainly are, yes. There are quite big gaps in them in places. Indeed. Uh, I've just deleted my token. <laughs> please please re-add your token, Tom. Don't mind me. The ultimate. <laughs> my token <laughs> seems to be massive. Oh, well, uh, yeah, here you go. Just there you go. Tom, in classic cat form, batted himself off the table and went, oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I... you're going to do something, Sam? Or, yep. I'm planning to. Okay. Uh, I would like to attack mm -hmm. the iron monk or priest. The iron Sorry. cleric. Iron cleric, I guess. Yep. Iron iron Bible washer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Through the boards. Oh right, okay. Um I have a halberd, so I've got, and I've got, so I've got reach, cool. so I can poke him through the boards. You are aware that he's stood on something above the like wooden bit you're on, right? Oh yeah, that is not clear. Hang on, let me zoom right in. Uh, yeah, sorry, I thought it was clear, but I, I do agree. Ah. Looking at it, that is not overwhelming. Oh, yeah, I see that now. I now I see that. Yeah, I'll let you revise what you want to do because yeah, it's. It, it's was, not. It's not. Hang on, I was six spaces to my right. Bear with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. What am I doing? Mm, this is far more problematic. Yeah, it turns out your barbarian just turning into a tiger in the middle of your stealth operation. It's not actually that helpful. 
I didn't pretend <laughs> that Ragnar was going to be Sorry. stealthy. No, he did also immediately state what he was going to do. So this is really on everybody. I missed that just now. Is this, is this higher up than... Yeah, is it is. Higher yeah. up than this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay. It's climbing Plan distance. B. You can Plan easily B. do it. But yeah, go for it. Uh, hang on, let me just check. Oh. Can I make it to here? Is that 60? What's that? Hang on. Um, yeah, I think you can, can't you? Yeah, yeah. That's so, cool. if I stand on, if I'm standing there, can I hit him there? Is that 10 feet? Do I reach? Um, yeah. I think that's a bit for, yeah. Because um, of the multiple layers, I'm a bit hesitant on that. Don't have, um... I suppose if you swung at him, it would still be uh, distracting. You could, you yeah, I mean, you could swing at him knowing oh, yeah, that you're... Yeah, I have, right, I have Misty yeah. Step. I can do better than this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. You can just bamf in <laughs> right in front of him. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, Ed, you just cooked it. You just cooked up a beautiful thing. Right. All right, yeah, I will... Bonus Don't action. Bonus action, Misty Step. Yep. Boom. <laughs> so you're Surprise, behind him? Yep. Surprise, motherfucker! And are you going to swing at him now, then? Oh, yeah, I'm going to batter him. <laughs> okay, go for it, please. Uh... Oh, wait, no. Oh, mm -hmm. damn it, I had another thing for that. Nope. Sorry, wait, did no, you want to do no, I've, already bon I've already bonus actioned. Mm, that's not ideal. Okay, so you're yeah. a 21. I can't smite because I've already bonus actioned. <laughs> well, yeah. So a 21 does hit. Um, as your halberd strikes into the back of him, uh, almost immediately, uh, the armor plating appears to shatter and collapse. And in front of you now, instead of the iron cleric, appears to be a completely empty suit of armor. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, Anybody that, else before this starts to get messy? That one will. <laughs> um, I would like to try and get closer to yeah, where they I'm, are. I'm yeah, mostly so. thinking about you guys up north. Yeah. Um, so is... yeah. Smash the boat. Nah. So no, I'd like not... to. No, it's not the time to be left behind, boys. Yeah, I'm not. I don't care about the boats. I'm gonna run towards the fight. So ooh, that's mm -hmm. on drawing mode. Whoops. One. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna try and, I suppose, climb back up onto, like, go back up to this. Right, this bottom bit here and get back up on top. So yep, okay. Um, and then one, two, three, and then bonus action dash. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that's as close as I can get. Oh, oh are we still free movement. Uh, I'm trying to keep it, trying to keep it vaguely in, but you know that's fine. Cool. Then then that'd yep. be as close as I can get. I'll say if you're not taking an action, I'll I'll let you action dash as well. Uh, yep, cool. One, two, three, four. Um, I think that's as close as I want to get for the moment. Okay, Tom. Uh, can I head down there to the lurk in the darkness down there? Okay, go for it. Yep, sure. Just lurk around here. Mm hmm. Um,. And All right. that, anything else? Uh, can I cast? Um, oh, mage arm or whatever. Uh, oh yeah, you've got that as a yeah. Basically, with the with the mage armor, uh, because of your thingy, you can cast it at will. So, as far as I'm concerned, you've just got that up permanently. Oh, because yeah, why wouldn't you? Right, you're a box of cats. You're fragile as a box of cats. Uh, you're just all you're all just stood on the jetty fighting them. <laughs> I I'm not. I'll be honest with you. I had so many different scenarios in Absolutely. my mind for how this was going to play out, and the option of everybody gets into a punch up on the jetty was a pretty low on my list. Um, not so ev not that, everybody is here. Andy's not. No, Andy's and if, in the water. If anybody's going to remain stealth, Ed is Andy. also pretending. Like, sorry, if anybody's going to remain stealth and be useful, it's Andy because he's the crunk. <sighs> Mm -hmm. Like that's true. Andy, is, Andy, is can sink, Andy can sink. Like himself. Andy can sink every fucking boat. While He's having crashing. his way with their boats. Yeah, yes. He, he can fuck every that's single fuck. boat. 
<laughs> All right, with fuck. that, let's let's get some initiative going then. <laughs> did we not? Hmm? Did we not roll? F- well, yeah, I had you guys roll initiative when you were all talking over each other, just so I could get it one at a time. Um, this is the actual one, so I'm just okay. Gonna... Fuck. Oh, I double clicked my mistake. Sorry. Oh wait, it doesn't matter. I got the same roll twice. <laughs> it's easier. Okay, and do do do. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just gonna do these. Hey Dom, why is that? Uh, why is the iron priest still on, iron cleric still on the sandal? That's crazy. I don't know. Weird. Isn't it? <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can improve this. That's crazy. I, I don't know what you're talking about though. Shame. Anyway, um, right, moving on. Um, I am I am wasting a turn throwing his pile of armor into the sea. <laughs> Does, oh wait, did he roll higher than you? Oh, he did! Oh, crazy! Oh, wonder, wonder if you'll get the opportunity. Um, I, I have found a nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, so, starting off with the lizard folk. The stonk takes great offence to someone who does not stay dead when he kills them. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, the lizard folk is immediately, upon seeing what's happening, he's going to turn to all of the uh, the men clad in the white plate armour, and he's going to shout, LEAGUE! And ready out of nowhere, a spear comes to his hand as he goes striding towards the tiger. So, one, two... Oh, yep, whoops, he's behind you. Four, five... And six as he's going to run alongside you, Ragnar. And he pulls out a rather intricate spear. That's the wrong character that I've opened. And he's going to swing at you. Does a 12. (coughs) It does not. Yeah, I thought not. Somehow. uh, So he swings at you with his uh, with his Spear and misses and swings again. Oh, does a 20 hit? There we go. It does not. You kidding me? Fucking hell. Okay, he swings around again and you just just aren't there. You just move slightly out of the way and the spear goes wild. This guy clearly he's he's never fought a tiger before. <laughs> um This guy's a little bitch. Yeah, yeah shit. Well that's gonna end his turn. Arcane energy. <laughs> yeah, shit. This is very strong. Alright, Gene, your turn. You are pretending to be a corpse in the water. Uh, yes, I am. Uh... Welcome to combat. Gene there, he's pretending to be a corpse. <laughs> it's pretty convincing um, because he's... Yeah, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them up there, and I am, like, smack dab in the middle of this. I'm quite, uh, quite nervous. Mm-hmm. Uh... Welcome to my world. Won't you come on in? <coughs> You're right, I would like... Um, I, uh, I feel like... I could do more damage. What is? Uh, sorry, I just need to check the radius on something. Ed, did you see my DM? I, I did. I I don't have a way of doing that. Okay, don't worry. That doesn't mean just jumping out of the water and running through a bunch of dudes. Fair. Always an um, option, though. Yeah. Uh, but what about Sheila? She, I don't know if Sheila would be able to haul an entire suit of plate mail. <laughs> just, take, just take the face. The face is probably the important bit. Yeah. I am going to, uh, trying to bob from here, I'm going to try and cast uh, Shatter. Like, cart spent centered here. It's a 10 foot radius. So I imagine that gets all of these guys except for, like, this guy at the end. Dumb. Oh, I fucking yep. Sorry, yep. I I didn't mute my headset. <clears throat> I muted my headset. Um, okay, yep, sure. Uh, cool. Can you roll? Me uh, a yeah, so it's here? a con save for all of them. Uh, yep. Uh... Can Lean cast shatter whilst bobbing and still remain bobbing and not appear alive? That's what I was hoping to do. Description. So it is verbal and semantic. So you've got to speak and. Move now. There's a lot of chaos going on, so I'll allow you to make a stealth roll to try and get away with it. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, uh, oh, and actually, would it be at advantage? It wouldn't matter, is it? Turns out with your roll, matter. you think you get away with it. You kind of are able to mutter the words as you're kind of uh, moving slightly with the waves. And if anybody was listening, they'd probably just assume it's uh, the body's just hit against a plank or something like that. And blew. 
So you get away with it. So it is a was it a DC fifteen con save? Fourteen. Fourteen con save. Okay. Yeah, I, I actually roll. don't have an amazing charisma score yet. Uh, Dom, we can see those rolls. Oh no, you can't. No, you can't. Fucking hell! I thought I did this with all of them. I didn't do it with the guards. Always whisper rolls. Why isn't that the fucking default? Anyway. Well, got one. <clears throat> well, you got one of them, and let's roll some other. Jesus, you hit quite a fucking few, don't you? Um, one, two, three, four, five of them. Five guards and the and the rogue figure. Man. Okay, so you got three of them, and the cloaked figure. Oh Jesus! Fucking get your shit together. Okay, you got the you got the cloaked figure as well. He should not fail that. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Yeah, boy. Uh, so three d eight thunder damage. Can you roll me up three d eight thunder? Damage, uh, yeah, yeah, it's up there. Oh, did you? Uh, where is it? Fifteen. Fifteen. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just gonna. Cool. I don't know if it affects. Cool. Yeah. And I don't cool. know if it affects because it it does it like um, inanimate yeah. objects take the damage as well from shatter. So oh, like, so the boat. I don't know if the rickety uh, boat and dock <laughs> uh, anything uh, happens with that. Oh, I'm realizing the the roby guy is standing on like what looks to be like rock or stone. Yeah. So this this part that they're on is kind of stone, but this part is boards. Um. <laughs> Odds are it's not going to do very well from a shatter. It is designed to like. It is designed to kind of destroy stuff, isn't it? I was kind of. Yeah, I was hoping. It is cool shatter. And the two who the two who <laughs> did die to the shatter are stood on the rickety bit. <laughs> yeah, I can't is, fault it. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. <clears throat> As you kind of mutter this word, the huge explosion of thunder, almost immediately you spot that three of them are lying very still. Uh, you can hear kind of a creaking sound as part of the jetty starts to collapse, and the two who had managed to stay standing, kind of holding their heads a bit, uh, the wooden pillars collapse beneath them, and they fall into the ocean. Now, bear <laughs> in mind, these men are wearing full plate armor. Yeah. <laughs> and they've just fallen <laughs> into the water. Uh, Edwin, Edwin, Edwin's big dead brain moment of the week. Yeah, I'm just gonna put I'm gonna put a little icon on them. The because... competition was not high. I'm putting a little clock on them because they could technically be saved. Um, Sheila, finish the job. <laughs> Hold their heads underwater. Does that cause the rest of the this section to collapse, or just that end piece? Um, just the end piece for now, but it's definitely not stable. <clears throat> Um, and I'll say this boat uh, has taken some damage from the shatter, so I'll also say the yeah, you know what, fuck it. Let, let's give you a ridiculously effective shatter. Yeah. Uh, all right. Anything else for Gene? Any uh, people yeah. to murder? Of no, course. I'm gonna use my He's bonus still. action uh, <laughs> for is. my form of dread. Okay, cool. Right. I, I mean, that's Scotland. definitely going to break your stealth, right? Or are you intending to try and like? Will it? Doesn't form of dread. Doesn't it blast out damage, or am I thinking of something else? No, no, no. I just, I just like go a bit creepy. Oh yeah, I'm just making that up. Okay, you turn into a slightly creepier looking corpse. I, I just mean... like, yeah, you like yeah. elongate and like. <laughs> you go full Slenderman. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll my uh, temporary yep. hit, hit die. Uh, that's all. Yeah. Eight. eight okay. Uh, As you yep, cause a small turn. explosion and elongate your arms. Okay, that's your turn, Nugget. What are you up to? Uh, <clears throat> well, she's skill, close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. Uh, go underneath this boat that yep. I just tied off. It is, yep. Um, I've had a long time to think about this, and I haven't. <laughs> You're like people in the queue for the coffee shop, aren't you? I'm going to get my knife out of my pocket. No. <laughs> I'm going to pull out all the nails. No, I am gonna. gonna I am gonna. Uh, with or mm -hmm. do I have a dagger or a knife? I don't think I do. You don't carry a knife. I'm sure you carry a knife, don't you? Uh, yeah. I need. I imagine yeah, Nugget see? would have like a butterfly knife. Uh, yeah, I'll be honest. Nugget is exactly the kind of guy who plays with a butterfly knife but isn't safe with it. Okay. <laughs> if you'll allow me, if you'll allow I'll, me. I'll, I'll, I'll allow you to have a yeah. Then um, 
I'm going to very discreetly um, mm -hmm. just slice the rope and make this boat drift away. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, as before, I mean, it's something you've definitely you've got the strength, you've got the aquatic ability for. It's just can you get a go, get away with it without them Nugget spotting? Is so an unstealthy frog, and I do. <laughs> I can't believe that Nugget is apt acting as your, like, stealthy aquatic operative. Right. But and not the rogue. I am not the He's frog. a frog man. He is. He <laughs> literally is your frog man. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Very good. I'm assuming, I'm assuming you'll give me the benefit of the doubt here and say that those guys are not facing the boat at this stage. They're preparing to walk along the jetty. Well, I gave them disadvantage because of Ed's explosion and everything going on and the tiger. Um, and then they rolled like shit anyway. So, yeah, you completely got away with that. Good. Uh, so we'll move boat. this away so just a bit. Yeah, just a bit away. To... Yeah, just this to is, signify it. This, yep. this is not going as badly as it should have done. This is not going anywhere near as badly as it should have done. <laughs> All right. Anything else for you, Nugget? Uh, I feel like only only that I'm gonna designate this as the getaway. <laughs> you've, that's the second arrow you've drawn, you idiot. Yeah, you've already designated one as a getaway, I know, but I know. And now with the yeah. fucking delete key on my keyboard, I'm gonna take that one away. Okay. I, I feel okay, I, I like that, to think it was clear. you. You signified one as get away from this boat because I'm gonna sink it, and get away <laughs> as in this is our getaway boat. <laughs> That's a, that is a nugget kind of thing to do, this just because you find it kind of funny. This one is yeah. still a problem, and I've, we've been failed here. <laughs> okay, uh, right, so nothing else for you then? Uh, not unless you'll allow me to go and get rid of another boat. But... I will not, so <laughs> Court, you're up. <laughs> um, cool, so I am going to move... Uh... Oh, oh, that's fucking drawing again, sorry. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, oh, that's... Fucking hell. So I can't delete that. That's there forever now. That's so cool. Um, okay, fine. I'm going to move one space there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. Oh. Um, and Court is going to unleash the fury of. Not the fury of the small, because yeah, that's a problem. completely different thing. Yeah. You're not I'm going to unleash the, uh, the fury, not the fury. The inner fury. And I am going to. Uh, where is mm -hmm. it? Uh, draconic Roar. Oh. Oh, what the what the fuck is this? This is the kobold different, like, rework thing that they've got oh, the new legacy yes. thing. Instead of the beg and cower one. Yeah, boy. Which is way better. Slightly better, isn't it? Until the it's end of your next turn, you and your allies have advantage. On attack rolls against any of those enemies who could hear the roar. So it's anything yeah. within 10 feet? Yes. So Which that is, is. These two. These two. All right, let's put a little marker on them. So you have got advantage against them. Excellent. And then I'm going to stab this guy. Yep. With the dagger of Donnie. Mm hmm. And leave it in him if I, I hit. Leave it in him. Uh, by the way, if you have a look at the. Uh, the Item I have nerfed the dagger of Donnie. Ah, oh, you've you've nerfed it. Excellent. Let me just see. What, it what still works doing. exactly the same, but now if anybody rolls a one on the damage roll, it falls out, which I think is a fair way of nerfing it because you can yeah. still hypothetically deal infinite damage with that fucking dagger. Nice. It just statistically gets quite unlikely. All right, so you let out a ferocious roar. You put into it all the fury of a dragon, despite being the size of a large boot. <laughs> I am two foot three. <laughs> you are two. Foot, you are the size of a reasonably sized boot. Okay, yes. I apologise. Uh, you bring about your dagger and embed it into the uh, the yeah. dragonkin's leg. He lets out a scream as it stabs into him, and you deal seventeen damage. Very nice. Anything else? Um, no, that is everything. I'm just gonna put that now around him, just as a reminder that he's got the dagger in him. That's the dagger marker. Perfect. All right then. Ah, oh, now it's a suit of armor's turn. I don't understand. I don't really understand what's going on. Uh, but you notice almost immediately the suit of armor is starting to glow slightly, and the pieces start to pull themselves back up as the iron cleric reforms himself in front of you. 
he then uh, still he is still facing uh, the tiger as he I'm just I'm gonna check actually have I set this guy to whisper rolls because I really I need to keep his roles secret uh, for reasons that I will not go into um, doo -doo 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 -doo. as he holds his hand out in front of him. He casts a lightning bolt on you. Ooh. That's you, Ra Ragnar Richard. Yeah, thought it might be. Uh, so I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. You, I believe, get advantage on these because you can see it coming, I think. Uh, yeah, danger sense. Yeah. Thank fuck. I, sorry, I was just whispering talking with that. I hope you can hear that. But also, <laughs> fuck that fucking cleric. <laughs> <laughs> I like giving Sam a nemesis. It's quite fun, actually. Uh, I'll make every nice guy. Like Andy this time. Okay, so a 15 is a pass, so that's good. That's good. Uh, and it is quite a few dice, so... <coughs> you take 12 lightning damage. That is half damage. Okay. Um, as a bolt of lightning shoots out and blasts the whole way. You notice it goes well past you. You feel it kind of singeing your fur. He did get you good, but you were able to get out of the way mostly. Uh, that's going to end his turn. Now we've got the soldier's turn. Now, first of all, these two who are drowning... <laughs> continue to drown. Ah. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, in all honesty, they're in full plate, they're going to try and move, but they've got such substantially reduced movement, because they're in full plate and they're underwater. Uh, so kind of, one of them is able to get about there, another one tries to kind of move himself here. And gets bats under, up. In the, messed up with a boat. She was just going to hold him down. <laughs> I mean, yeah, in all honesty. Uh, so they're able to kind of move themselves a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, now, one of them is stood right next to you, Call. So he is going to swing at you. Uh, which one of these is that one? Uh, does a 19 hit? Uh, just. Yeah, he did his lowest possible damage. You take two piercing damage. <laughs> Oh no, whatever shit. will I do. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, another one runs up and appears to also be trying to get in on the action. He makes a swing at you. Mm -hmm. Does a seven hit? I mean, Christ, these fucking Isn't rolls. Isn't he on a lower level? I'm not going to dignify that with the response. Oh, he is on a lower level, you're right. He misses anyway. Yeah, he's out of reach. Uh, he is trying to clamber his way up. Uh, another one is going to run over and join him. Uh, these guys are going to come over here. This guy here. These three fellows. Going to make it to about there. I thought and... Dom also got fucked by the same thing I did. I really did, yeah. I, I, I've been staring at this map for like two hours and I still just completely <laughs> spaced on it. Uh, now this one is going to come over here. Now I'm just going to make a little note here. Because... That part of the walkway is completely collapsed. Uh, he is going to kind of glance around, trying to awkwardly work out, kind of get himself down on the docks, and he's trying to he's trying to fish around in the water to try and pull his friends out. He completely cannot reach them. Um, is that all of the knights? Yes, I believe that is. All right, now we go on to the hooded man. Um, Cole, can you roll me an insight check, please? Not really. That's enough. One second, sorry. <clears throat> Something about the man bothers you a little bit. You think, oh, I've seen him before. But not, not in Good League of Good. This seems weird. And then suddenly, as he starts to stride towards you and leaps over the part of the... Uh, the jetty that Ed has collapsed. You recognise him. That Shady Bill. You've done jobs with Shady Bill. He's part of the Evil League of Evil. Motherfucker. Welcome to not Shady Bill. 
Oh, it's his twin brother. It looks like a lady, isn't it? Wholesome William. Lady Bill! It's Lady Bill. <laughs> <laughs> not Lady... Wait, or is it not Lady Bill? <laughs> not Lady Bill. Not well, Shady Lady Bill. Just like, oh, it's clearly a lady. Okay, sure. Not uh, Shady Lady Billy. <laughs> not Shady Billy Lady Bill. Bill. Belina. It's definitely Belina. <laughs> Billiam. Yeah. Well, either way, this shady Bill or not so shady Bill or shady Belina, whatever Wilhel name, Wilhelmina, runs at you Ooh. and produces a very oh. large dagger and makes a stab at you. Does a 17 hit. It doesn't, does it? It does not. Oh, God. All right. Well, the... The dog is unimpressed with your attempt. The dagger kind of flies past you. Uh, you recognize uh, Bill's move, though, so you know what's coming next. As Bill flips the dagger over to the other hand and swings, does an 11 hit. Jesus Christ, these rolls. The stonk takes the hit on his breastplate and just stares at him like, the fuck? Yeah, you knew the move was coming. You've seen Shady Bill do this a hundred times. You just shift your chest slightly so it hits straight on the middle of the chest plate and just glances off. You kind of give him a look of complete disappointment. You expect better from your colleagues, and now it is your turn. Oh, I'm so torn. <laughs> Don't give me. There's just, there's just so many people to hate, and so little time. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've probably we've got the uh, the iron the the iron cleric sims. Seems fragile and he's already been down once and only hit him like literally once. Oh, wait, Dom, can I have my aura protection, please? Oh, yeah, do I control it? Uh, well, no, I can turn it on, but you have to make it so everyone can see it. Oh, all right, hang on. Because that's ah. actually working quite well for us right now. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, definitely. Um, how do I do this? Uh, C, there we go. Boom. Everybody else see that? Yep. Great. Perfect. Yep. All right. Cool. What are you doing? Uh, hang on. Uh... Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's an action. Same. Okay. I'd like to stand here. Uh, I yep. assume he'll get an attack opportunity. Uh, he will. He'll make a swing at you. He's on a lower level. So oh, he, yeah, he's but he's the one who was climbing up. Oh, is he um, okay. Wait, so he's he's halfway up the pole and he can still make an attack opportunity? He's gonna make. He's gonna try. It's. I'll be honest with you, Sam. It's an eleven to hit. Jesus Christ! What what is happening? Have I rigged my own dice? Wait, oh, he's, he's rolling. A, he's rolling a plus eleven. No, no, he got an eleven total. Oh, right, okay, that's fine. Okay. It's so right, bad. I'm going to yep. cast Thunderous Smite. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to look at Not Shady Bill. Yes, Ed, and... we can all see you measuring. <laughs> that's and... not me. I'm going to look at Not Shady Bill yep. and reject his reality and substitute my own. Okay. Which is translation for hit really hard with a halberd? Um, you don't have advantage, do you? I should do because it's a twenty fucking seven. You should do, but you don't. Um, so your first swing on Shady Bill, not Shady Bill, uh, goes wide, arcing just part. Oh, yeah. Bastard shorter than I remember. <laughs> what else you got? You swing up. You adjust. You swing back around. This time you're like center mass. Got another Everybody's one. Everybody's got a center mass. Hey. And your halberd cleaves right into his chest. It's a it's a big hit on on not shady Bill. And with right. that, he yep. is he takes additional <clears throat> seven thunder the damage and must roll a strength save. Oh, is that what it? What, let me just see. So it's uh, whoop, yeah okay. So strength save. What's the DC? Fifteen. Oh, unfortunately, he got sixteen. Otherwise, yeah. Oh, yeah. You could have. Booped him into the water. That would have been fantastic. Sorry, unfortunately. Like, yeah. to the chest. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Unfortunately. Sorry. He just. He just about manages to save it. 
to stop himself from flying backwards. God. Anything else for you? Sorry. And the, the best bit is he's he's knocked ten feet back and prone, so he hits the water on his back. Hits the water on his back, prone, having taken damage in front of Ed the murderer. So yeah. <laughs> Should Anything else for shit. you? Um, I'm I'm probably out of shenanigans at this stage. Okay, I do apologize. All they've got left, they've got left is movement. I'll be honest with you, calls luck with rolls had to end at some point, so... Oh, don't worry, I'll be back. Well, yeah, that's I'm not sure. so much his his bad luck, so much as, like, the AI's good luck. <laughs> that's so, true. All calls right. luck's still on the table. Tom, Salem, Fluffy Muffin Sunday. What do you do? Uh, oh, wait, wait, can I have a free action to... Can I have a free action to fill on, like, cow bellow in his face? <laughs> Yeah, you can have a free action to moo at somebody, like, I suppose. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like a moo, like a genuine, like, no, enraged, like a moo, I <laughs> Hello. Yeah, like, okay, he, sure. Yeah. Like, when I'm done, he's wiping bovine spittle from his face. See, if you didn't have a kid, I'd ask you to make the roar, but you have a kid and he's probably asleep, so yeah, fine. <laughs> he's, he is definitely asleep, and he's actually yeah. he's about 10 feet away through a wall. So. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it without <laughs> making you do the roar. That's fine. All right. <laughs> Tom, what do you do? So, uh, Salem is frustrated that he didn't make a bigger fire when he knocked over that lantern. What are the rest of the cats doing? Uh, well, they're, they're, they're all one. They're a hive mind. Yeah, we are one. Come on. So, Sam's going to cast Fireball. <laughs> <laughs> where is this centered? Your getaway boat. <laughs> where, where is this? Is it centered right on the getaway boat or something? <laughs> Not quite. Okay. Um, I think 20 foot here, radius. 20 foot. So those two, the boat, yeah. those three. Uh, is Ed in that? No. Uh, you sure? No. Okay, maybe, maybe here. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Would yeah. Ed be because he's down? He's below as well. So you got no, it's he is down and below. Yeah. Please, can I'm I just also say, saving this guy. Can I just say something? Yeah. Why? Why are you setting the jetty on fire that the whole party's got to walk down to get to the getaway boat? No, we're not going to the getaway boat. Why are we going to the getaway boat? Are you not listening to start the fucking session? Okay. Enough. The... I want the cat to do the fireball. <laughs> so it is a dex saving throw for these boys, is it? And you're getting uh... four of them in total. You're, fuck, you're absolutely clueless. What's the matter? <clears throat> What's the matter with this boat? Fail, fail, fail. Oh, it's probably in the, in the fireball, isn't it? <laughs> fail. <laughs> fail. Okay. The roof is on fire. Uh, Tom, can you roll the damage dice? Every single one of them failed. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so, What's the damage? 8d6. Alright. No, uh, it's we're not 8d6. Is it? is it not? A target takes 8d6 fire damage. Fuck me. It's yeah, it's fireball. It's are it's you, a very strong spell. Are you not familiar with fireball? Have I, you been living under a rock? Yeah, I think Tom's going to be casting fireball a bit more, guys. <laughs> Eight, fireball, fireball is like yeah. it's the benchmark by which all damage dealing spells are measured because it's one of the best. <laughs> Twenty-two. Okay. That is okay. that is shocking. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> oh, hang on, my they're all dead. <laughs> yeah, I rolled twenty as shitting itself. Hang on. God. Okay, I can't. It's okay, because oh, I'm kill on measuring kill that's why. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put some crosses here. I'm gonna put some more crosses here. Just cross, cross, cross. And I'm just gonna put a little cross here. And I'm just gonna put a little little shape about here. Uh yeah, that part of the jetty is now completely unusable and demolished by your fireball. As one of the cats casually just kind of you know, sneezes a bit, and the entire area explodes with a fireball. You know that little half sneeze that cats sometimes do? Just puh. Yeah, as it explodes, and you resume licking your paws, I presume. Anything else you want to do, Tom? And is this, um... Perhaps you want to drop a thermo nuke. 
<laughs> when you reduce a creature to zero hit points, you gain... Yeah, so you gain, what, four times your charisma modifier, isn't it? Or... Uh, oh, isn't it? Because temporary hit points don't stack. They so. don't stack, yeah. So, so just, you, you gain... just get four. Yeah, you, you get, get your... four attempts at it, and I guess you keep the best one. Well, it's so your charisma it. modifier plus your warlock level. Yeah. So it's just a flat amount. Oh, wait, so... no, yeah, there's no roll. Yeah. Yeah. What's your charisma modifier, Tom? My charisma um, modifier is four, and my so... warlock level six, so ten. So you gain ten temporary hit points, yeah. Ace. Anything else for you? Um. <laughs> Was that a bonus action, or is that... Dark One's Blessing is a passive, it just happens. Fireball is okay. an action. So you've still got movement and bonus action. Um, I could cast Hex, or... or I could leave another spell. Maybe I'll cast another spell another time. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave it. Alright, Ragnar. This fight that you started, finally it's your turn. Yay! I've been thinking about what I'm going to do this whole time. Is it attack twice as a tiger? No, I'm going to try and do something oh. more interesting. Oh no, go for it, please. Uh, I'm going to take a few steps back. Okay, as you step back, the uh, the man with the spear is going to get an attack of opportunity against you. Yes. Uh, does a 12 hit? Oh god, these fucking <laughs> it, rolls. It do not. <laughs> I do not. No, of course not. With your fucking AC. All right, then. And are you now going to run at him and do your jump attack thing? I'm going to run at him and pounce. <laughs> okay, and... which one are you pouncing on, by the way? Uh, This boy. Lizard okay, boy. that boy. Yep, lizardy boy. Got it. Uh, And I was wondering if you... <clears throat> You'd let get advantage on the other one. I get advantage on both. They were both in the draconic roll. Yeah, they both got the raw. Yeah, boy. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, If you would let me... <clears throat> use my mm -hmm. one of my attacks to try and with my run up and my pounce yeah smush him from where he is now onto this lower level okay where this man is standing <laughs> right and so you want to try and bowl him and are you going over with him this isn't oh, a push 100%. this is a i'm going with him <laughs> okay i'll say as a as a contested strength roll you can try that so okay. give me a give me a strength roll. You have advantage because you're raging. Oh, Twenty one. Okay. Yeah. So handily, well, not handily, poorly, I suppose. You leap on top of the uh, the dragonkin. You use your momentum and your sheer strength to push him off and push him down on top of this poor this poor soldier boy. Who I'm just going to roll one thing very quickly. Excellent. Uh, who is immediately crushed to death. Call it. <laughs> uh, I'm actually going to just move his token down here as he falls into the water. These he falls are squiddly as fuck. They are. It's beautiful. All right. So you are now, and now, uh, now you can make your attack rolls, I suppose. And remember, he's got the dagger in him. Uh, so I'm going to... He's Bye. got the dagger. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, well. shit. Okay, so Ready? roll me 2d4 for the dagger. Oh. <laughs> oh what was that? I got the idea okay, so you do four damage and the dagger falls there. out. So that's four damage plus 14 Why did the dagger damage. fall out? No, uh, if you roll a damage. one on the damage dice, it falls out. All right, fair. That's a change I made to make it a little bit more balanced. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you land atop him dealing yeah, 14, so 18 points of damage. And as you bite into him, you feel some kind of primal instinct fulfilled. I'll let you think about what that means. Anything else for you, Ragnar? Uh... Does he ejaculate? It's not that kind of tiger. I, I hope. Not, not I haven't yet, got anything not. more, but does yep. two mm -hmm. creatures falling onto that walkway cause mm. any sort of structural impact? That um, I, I mean, it's through? right next to the part that has already been exploded by a fireball. I'll say there is definitely some <laughs> structural impact on it. It's not collapsed, but it, I mean, it's so unbelievably flimsy now. So am I now underneath this top level? Um, yeah, I mean, you're 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 kind of on top of him, really. So I'm just gonna do that. 
you are you are now on top of him, pinning him to the ground. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything oh, else? Mounted. Uh, no, that's it. Mounted him. Okay. Now it is his turn. So he is going to immediately try and shove you off of him. So that is a strength roll. Can you make me a strength roll, please? He gets a uh, plus strength four. roll or saving throw. Uh, strength roll. Strength. Yeah, four. strength versus strength with a plus four on top. Okay, so he attempts to shove you off of him and completely fails. <laughs> you have him pinned. You're controlling him. Twenty six is quite a good score. <laughs> Twenty six is really hard to beat, even with good rolls. Uh, yeah, and you are you have bitten into him. You feel something fulfilled. Suddenly, out of nowhere, he attempts to bite you. Oh God! <laughs> Does an 18 hit? It does not. It doesn't hit. You're, you're genuinely impossible to hit, you prick. <laughs> uh, if you use stuff that doesn't use AC, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, this this uh, this lizard guy with a spear is going to struggle. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, that'll be his turn, I guess. Gene, your turn. <clears throat> I am um, little support here, buddy. <laughs> Don't, uh, don't leave me here alone. No, no, I'm I'm gonna help. Uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, do a leisurely backstroke <laughs> and, uh, run, or, and run the fuck away. No, <laughs> I I am not a fucking brawler. Okay, I am a gangly fucking <laughs> like Slenderman, like Mum Um, I am going to cast um hex. Yep. On. Um, ooh, the Iron Boy? Mm. On th on shape on not so shape hill. Yep. And uh, that lets me give him disadvantage on something, doesn't it? It does. Uh, yes. So you pick. I'm going to give him disadvantage on dexterity. Dexterity. Got it. Okay. Also, choose an ability to cast a spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks. With a, yeah, so if he tries to make a dex like acrobatics or something, he'll like yep. new strength. <clears throat> I figure he's dexterous. I feel like he's going to try and twinkle toes his way yeah, around. Yeah, I think this might as a strength save. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what it does not affect saves. You play your character how you want to, Ed. Don't let Sam Baxi DM you. It doesn't let help him. the saves. Um, <laughs> Uh, but then, okay. yeah, then I'm going to, I to give you. Eldritch Blast him. Oh, I right. Go for on, it. Ass. <clears throat> oh, yes. Ooh, very nice. Okay. Oh, and double hex. And double hex. Yes, please. Add those on as well. So as you kind of leisurely backstroke, you take a look at Not Shady Bill. You lift one hand out of the water. It glows briefly. And you feel your curse. You bring about a second finger to point it at him as well. Blast out an Eldritch Blast. You get more than one Eldritch Blast, don't you? I do. Um, I would like him as well to make a, I mm -hmm. think it's a Wisdom save. Oh. Uh, as part of my form of dread. Oh, yes. Or Otherwise, be afraid he becomes frightened. Right. Uh, let's see. How does he Wisdom save? He got a five. So he is now afraid of you as your first Eldritch Blast hits into him it's a, it's a big hit he's already taken a you know a pole arm to the chest he's not in the best of ways oh william that was a <laughs> silly choice you made <laughs> the second eldritch blast strikes into him and hits him in his head briefly you can see kind of the uh the shawl that he's got wrapped around his head is knocked out of the way you can clearly see and and call you recognize no this is him this is shady bill like I've worked with this guy. He's part of the Evil League of Evil. Uh, sorry? Kill him. Or, or is he? Or is he? Uh, as he why kind of... is he whispering? It's, it's a convenient way to make, make conversation whilst not waking up my son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, like, any of you other fuckers start whispering, I'll be like, what's going you on? Can, Sam, I'm like, yeah, it's fine. talk quietly, you don't have to. Whisper. Yeah, it just amuses me to put the mic where I have it. It's, <laughs> it's ASMR. Whispering is yes, stands for Saunders. Whispering. <laughs> We're all okay. whispering now. 
Oh, I was I'm going to tell you all to shut the fuck up or I'm going to kill all of you. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can't just kill all of this. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh. This is the voices in your head, Donald. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just multiplying people's uh, health pools, that's all. Um... This is the voices in your head. Oh, I don't listen to those anyway. Oh, yeah, I will tell you here that Dom. I was not whispering, so don't punish Court. I will <laughs> Court has done well. Tom, I will seven me. As has Jean, so well done. Uh, <laughs> as the uh, as the second Eldritch Blast strikes into Not Shady Bill, he kind of stumbles awkwardly and is stood there. The dagger falls from his hand as he's just completely dazed and standing there. He's still technically alive, but barely. Absolutely barely. Nugget, your turn. Take him! Right. Uh, oh, that's not... I've got a plan for him. Uh, I've just deleted my token. Fuck <laughs> 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 yourself back down. Great yeah, you're, now, you're now off the uh, turn order, so... <laughs> oh, give me a minute, I'll re-add you. I'm one. still seeing a blank slot where he was. Oh, really? I'm not yeah. even seeing that. He's only seven Maybe it's because it, yeah, it was on his turn when he left. Sorry, I deleted the line and just deleted my gun. It's all right. I've re-added you on. I'll give you 17. Yeah. Can I do the same again? Knife on this. Yep. I'm just re-putting you in the order. Let's have, yeah, um, let's have some... Now, are you trying for stealth? Or are you not bothered? Yeah, no, it's still, still stealthing. I want to detach that boat. Okay, you have got advantage. 22. Uh... Right. And I'm going to start slowly yeah. dragging that boat mm -hmm. along that green line. You can decide okay. how far I can drag it. In... Um, well, you've already swum, what, 20 feet or so? Yeah. So, I mean, I'll say you can get it to, I don't know what, probably there. I get, when I get to roughly where uh, Gene is, I'm going to hop into the boat. Okay. And then call for. All right. Anything else for you then? Uh, no. Okay. Court, your turn. Court. Um, can I pick up Donnie's dagger as a free action, or would yeah. that be a? Yeah, it's a free action to pick up the dagger. Yeah. I'm gonna pick it up off the ground, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna um, stab the dragonborn with a normal mm -hmm. psychic You're dagger. You're on a different level, buddy. Am I? Yeah, are you gonna jump down to him or I'll fucking hoy it down to him then I'll oh, fuck the cleric. Get the cleric. I will <laughs> ignore Sam because mm -hmm. Sam doesn't He's control got a me. On me. <laughs> um do these guys how long does your roar last? Until the end of my next turn. Oh splendid. Like, okay. The, the Dragonborn's pinned by the barbarian. He's not going anywhere. The cleric is like standing up, having been reanimated and has taken no damage since. Aminated. <laughs> Aminated. Aminated. Let's go after the emanated <laughs> one. Sam has suggested it with logic rather than just, just say to do it. So I will change my mind based okay. on that. Yep. And I will stab him with yep. um a normal uh actually yeah, the normal dagger. Yep. Um, in the back. In the back. That's so that's how it's, how done. it's done. Um yeah, so I rolled a 15, but I have advantage, so I get a 15. You get a 15. Oh. <laughs> so you bring about your psychic blade, prepare to stab it into the uh, the iron cleric. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, the, the blow doesn't quite strike true. Mm -hmm. Seems to glance off of something. Doesn't quite, doesn't quite impact into him, unfortunately. That's fine. I then use a second one mm -hmm. and roll a 12. Um, but I... Have advantage, so I also roll a 12. You also roll um, a 12. So you bring about again with the dagger ready this time. Aha, now I've got... Oh, no, no, he's got armor there as well. Everywhere you're stabbing is usually the soft bits between the armor plates, but just underneath them is more armor. Yeah. Um, and then with that, I will... Leave. <laughs> um, <laughs> Toodle bit, lads. Yeah, I will yep. jump down into the sea. One, two. He'll get attack of opportunity, I assume. Uh, he would, but he doesn't use it. Interesting. All Turns right. out he's a good boy. Um, do mm. I have a? Would my swimming speed be the same as my normal walking speed, or would it be uh, typically half your half speed? Cool. Yeah. Because then I do one more swim. There. Okay. 
Would I get any extra distance from diving off at all? Is that a thing I could do? Or uh, I think with the height, if you tried to do anything too fancy, there'd be a risk I'd just break your neck. So yeah. Also, you're two foot tall. This could be actually considered quite a high jump for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now it's the Iron Boy's turn. Somebody might need to remind Cool not to just jump straight from the, the jetty into the ship because he weighs so much he might just go straight through the boat. <laughs> Sink the only ship you've got. Oh, dear. His feet hit it and just hit, the boat just cleaves in half and he just keeps sinking. <laughs> Nugget would be so unhappy. <laughs> All right then. Uh, as that might you. Be enough reason to be fair. As you're you're standing facing the uh, the iron iron boy in front of you, uh, suddenly he starts to uh, he clasps his two hands together and then points them at the floor and he lifts up in front of you. Now you can make an attack of opportunity against him. You have got advantage if you'd like. Me. Yep. You. Sorry, you said nugget. Oh, sorry. No, no. I meant I meant cool. Oh yep. yes. Oh, very oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. All right then. As the uh, as the armored cleric starts to float up in front of you, you kind of see it coming. He wait until he's at the right height and then just swing across the chest. And once again, the armor shatters and collapses all down on the jetty in front of you. Now you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> They've done this before and it definitely worked last time. But the, the, then he got back together. So. Uh, now it is time for the remaining guards' turn. Um, now, in terms of the two who have fallen in the water, um, you don't know what's happened to them. They've just kind of sunk deeper and deeper. Um... <laughs> I'd like to point out that uh, Cool Slark has returned. <laughs> it really fucking has, doesn't it? Yeah. No longer have advantage. Oh, yeah. Good shout. Thank you. Just wanted to make sure you to take the thing off, yeah. Oh, that's not the right one. Didn't want to interrupt. <laughs> no, no, good chap, good chap. Uh, all right then. So, uh, yeah. Um, Gene, can you roll me? Uh, Gene, Gene and Nugget, actually. Can you roll me either nature, insight, or perception? Your choice. Oh, no. Very insight. Uh, wait, wait, yeah. I'm going to use nope. my uh, knowledge from a past life to add a d6. Okay, splendid. And Nugget got a 22 with perception. All right. Five. Now, Gene, you start to think back. You've been to Brimhaven before. You've surfed on these beaches. And you have a distant memory of a of a bright red flag being f flown on some of these beaches. And you're really trying to remember what it was. Why, what, what, what did the red <laughs> flag signify? <laughs> Why? Can't remember. Um, Nugget, as you're kind of starting to pull the ship, you kind of happen to look around underwater. Now you're a grung. You have great underwater vision. You see better underwater than you do oh, above yeah. water. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> you no. spot Fuck. just off the shelf, just as it's starting to get deep, a single red tentacle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's uh, do the rest of these lads' turns. Now, the ones who are underwater, you don't seem to see anything for. The one who is left stood up top appears to be desperately looking around for help, realizing there isn't any. Uh, he sheathes his sword and starts to surrender and beg for mercy. From who? Uh, from anybody around him. Wait, which one are we talking about? Sorry. Uh, this one, I'm going to put a little symbol on him. I don't know what one is begging. I'm going to go with the Shattered Shield. Because he has lost the will to fight. He's starting to beg for mercy. I'm oh, that one. pleading okay. with all of you generally. Sorry. Yes, exactly. Now, these Correct. three over here are going to kind of desperately run to try and stop the boat from drifting away from them. They can now... They just all their ships have gotten away from them. This has completely gotten out of control. They're just shouting generally and trying to stop whatever the hell is happening. Now <clears throat> we go to Wait, what about this one? Yep. Which one? Oh shit, yeah. Good call. Cool. He's gonna swing at you. Um <laughs> I completely forgot about him, so yeah. Good shout. Um does a nineteen hit? Just. They like 19s. Um, uh, take 9 piercing damage. That is better. 
I will grant him that is he's better, better than, than he's done. Yeah, I mean two. Like Jesus Christ. Anyway, he's um, lucky he'll if you regret it. He might. He might not. Um, now, not shady. Bill has dropped their weapon and is stood there, kind of awkwardly. Oh, clearly, completely dazed beaten you're not entirely certain how they've managed to cheat death they don't look like they should still be alive at this point now you see not shady bill pops out a book out of one of his pockets and opens it and points at a page at random doesn't seem to be really looking just points at a page and then in front of you vanishes counter spell (laughs) Have you I got can't. a counter spell? No. So. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no, I'm a rogue. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have been my count, surprised. My counter but... spell is just a knife. <laughs> <laughs> counter spell, and that I mean kill a child. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that could have been a full on Dobby situation right there. Yeah, it could have been, yeah. Uh, all right then, so he has vanished. Call, it is your turn. You've got a clattering of armor in front of you, one guy behind you who's desperately trying to stab you. The guy is surrendering, the boat's getting away, and uh, Nugget appears to be making shouts about something that you can't really make out because he's underwater. Alright. Uh, right. Um, I'll be honest, this guy just doesn't bother me. <laughs> I can't bring myself to, be, to the care. level of disrespect. <laughs> just be like, you are not <laughs> even worth killing. So this is, this is a pile of armour, yes? Yes, it is, yep. Uh, now bear in mind, there's still the there's still the dragonborn that uh, that Ragnar is fighting. Uh, he's kicking he's kicking the armor around an action. Um, I, depends. If you're like, just like if I, kicking I, it like... to see if anything happens, that's free. But if you want to like scatter it specifically, that'll be an action. I was hoping you might allow me like half movement if I was just like shuffling it with in front of my feet or something. Uh, I mean. Uh, fair. W- yeah, I'm trying to work out what is it you're trying to do with it, really. Just kind of shuffle walk it in off the edge of the jetty down here without having to use up max. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to sacrifice like 20 feet of movement to do it. But... I guess, I guess if you do it as part of your movement, I'll allow it. But yeah, I'll take yeah, my entire yeah. movement allowance to move one square to the left if it lets me move him into the sea. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, you can kick the armor into the sea. Yeah, I'll kick him into the sea. Okay, so you kick the armor pieces into the sea. As they kind of fall, you notice for the briefest of moments that it looks like the uh, the armored hand, as it falls, flips you off. Yeah, fuck as that. It, they yeah. fall into the sea and very quickly start to sink. Right. All right. Now, what, what are you going to do with your action that you've so, <laughs> so aggressively saved? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Um, this guy can go fucking do one. Yep. Because he hit me for nine points, which is the most damage I've taken in like two whole sessions. <laughs> so, fuck that guy. But not that uh, hard. I got a thirteen. Not that hard as you got a thirteen, unfortunately. So you swing about the halberd, <clears throat> and it conks into the ground next to him, and you miss. You gonna make another mm. swing, or you done? <laughs> Oh, I have another swing. I'm yeah. just deciding whether to hit him or to go stab the dragon one from on high. Because mm-hmm. I have reach, so I can do that. Yep. Uh, you can try. I mean, you know. Will I have advantage on the dragonborn because he's prone? I'd say only if you were directly next to him. And because okay, you're, right. I know you've I'll got just... reach, but you're also a level above, so yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll fuck this guy then. All right. Give us another swing. Come on. Death Nail Howard. Yeah, boy. There we go. All right. You so you miss completely and hit into the ground, but then you realize, oh no, hang on, this is better, and sweep across his legs. You slice one of his legs clean off. He collapses down on the ground in front of you, and you just kind of hit him briefly with the with the pommel and kill him. And this means the death knell goes off. A long fucking last. Yeah. So, so can I get a anything within fifteen feet? So that's probably going to be the two drowning knights and the uh, dragonborn. Make a um, DC 15 wisdom save. Not to spoil anything, those drowning knights don't make a save. Um, <laughs> so, Sorry. yeah, what's the save Seven. they have to make? Uh, DC 15 to avoid DC a whole one psychic damage. Is it wisdom, is it? Wisdom save, yeah. Wisdom save. 
Uh, unfortunately, the, the Dragonborn does make the save. He takes half damage on a one. So he still takes a one. <laughs> he still takes one. <laughs> Pointless fucking save. Okay. Uh, so, Literally, I, I guess... said he'll take one damage. <laughs> Ragnar, as you're holding down this uh, this Dragonborn, you hear the bell kind of go off and the Dragonborn kind of flinch from it and a bit of blood trickles out of one of his eyes. He's still alive, but that did clearly hurt him. Uh, Salem, your turn. Um, I don't know what the fuck's going on now. <laughs> well, your rowboat is getting away. The rowboat's getting away to be attacked by a uh, tentacle beast. Mm-hmm. There's all sorts of shit's happening here. Who's still alive? Uh, so, in terms of the enemies who are still alive, this you've got guy. three lads over here, this guy here, that's about it. And there is These one guys. guy who's surrendering. This is still on fire, right? Oh yeah, that whole area is basically unusable. Uh, Court is having to swim under the fire. Okay. So these guys are basically useless. They're yeah, these guys away. on the left here, they can't really get access to <laughs> here. They're there forever now. They're, I mean, they're wearing full plate. They're not going to get it off and swim over and cause you guys any trouble. They are currently stranded. For the sake of this combat, they're worthless. Okay, then. Um, so, it's just this boy. Indeed. And uh, the the cowering knight. <laughs> oh, right, the cowering yeah. Lad. Yes, yes. Um, after that bell, mm-hmm. I'm going to ring another bell for the dead. Okay, as once again, I don't know, probably Salem, let's be honest, leans forward with a little bell on his collar. And another cat bats it. Let's see, Toll the Dead. <laughs> so it's a wisdom save. Uh, let's see. So uh, there he is. Oh, he does not make the save. So he takes, is that 14 necrotic damage? Yeah. Because he is very heavily injured. Okay, with that, with that tolling going off, Another bell goes off, and Ragnar, you watch as the uh, the dragonborn in front of you just goes completely limp. As oh, he has see. died. I'll put down my research about what happens when you convert something into a lichen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest with you. You're like converting people into were creatures. It's going to take a very special circumstance for that to actually work. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right then, Salem. Anything else for you now? The immediate threat is over. I'll keep up initiative just for Ragnar's turn as well. But uh, generally, what do you want to oh, do? Um, the tentacles. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I can do anything anyway. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. Or maybe I should. I should. Yep. Walk over here. Uh, one, mm-hmm. two, three, four, five. Uh, six. Okay, splendid. All right, Ragnar, your turn. Uh, so this guy surrendered, right? He has, yes. I kind of just want to kill him. <laughs> Make him a, f- a friend. Dead friend? Uh, where tiger friend. Yeah. How high is this? Can I climb up it in... Um, so, in your wear cat form, you can definitely climb up that quite easily, I'll say. And then I would like to run and pounce on this man. Okay, splendid. Go for <laughs> it, please. Yep, excellent. <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, okay, as you kind of see him, he's starting to surrender. He's kind of putting his hands up. He's he's going down on his knees, and you think, oh, too good of an opportunity. You get a run up. You get some really good momentum going. You leap over the hole that Ed left in the uh, in the wooden boarding. You land atop this guy, and you go to do a bite attack, and you bite his fucking head off. 
Okay. <laughs> There's nothing left of this man. You have just bitten his head clean off. He collapses down dead in front of you. Anything else for you? Uh, a look of pride. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of my turn, I think. Okay, splendid. Now, on the 20. You start to see the tentacles that uh, Nugget spotted. You start to see one of them surfacing. No, I'm putting it here. It's tiny. Ooh, shouldn't be. Oh, fuck. One of them surfacing. And you notice oh, that it is holding in its tentacle one of the two that you thought was drowning. <laughs> oh, no. Now, I should say, he's not drowning anymore. He's very clearly a dead body. As whatever the tentacled creature is has grabbed him, is flailing him about. And Gene, it is your turn. Now, I will say, you can roll... I'm trying to think. What would be the right stat to roll to know things about Krakens? It probably is nature, I guess. Yeah, or maybe nature history. Or arcana, I guess. Or arcana. Or arcana. Yeah. arcana. Sometimes, I guess, like for like magical creatures. For magical creatures, Krakens are magical creatures. So, I suppose nature, arcana, or history. I suppose if you know anything about Krakens. They are all a zero for me. <laughs> They're it. all intelligence based. <laughs> They're all intelligence based. Okay. Well, with an eleven. I'll say that you know that typically Kraken show up after a battle. Mm -hmm. After there's been a large naval battle, the Kraken typically turns up and feasts upon the dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you can't think of anything. So, what do you want to do with your turn? Now, Nugget is generally pulling the boat. Is the plan still to pull it along that pathway? Yep. Yep, so Nugget is pulling the boat. So now yeah, is I'm... your time. Yep. Uh, yeah, I would like to. I mean, I've only got like half movement, so I'm just gonna try and get as close as possible to it. Um, okay, yep. I, I guess I'm just gonna hold my action to move, mm -hmm. uh, like clamber into oh, the so boat. To, to clamber onto it. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Anything else for you? I'm gonna use a bonus action to move my hex because, mm -hmm. yeah, now he's, he's left the field of battle, I guess. Yep. Ooh, actually, mm -hmm. I just wanted to check the wording yep. of Hex a, a little bit, just to see mm -hmm. if that does anything in terms of that. So, let's have no. a look. Do, 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 do. If it drops to zero hit points before this spell ends, you can yeah. use a bonus action. You can't, because he hasn't died. <laughs> Motherfucker. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yes, uh... I was trying to see if it lets me know that know anything about where they are now, but I guess it, yeah, it doesn't. Well, I don't believe so. Yeah. No, I'm thinking like yeah, I thought I'm getting confused with like bits of hunters. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that will. Fuck it, that'll be my turn. I guess. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, I will yep. command um, Sheila mm -hmm. uh, to scamper. Uh, oh wait, no, she has a swim speed, so she's just gonna. She's How just the gonna... fuck does a hand swim? By the way. Uh, just like like I'm like, like an octopus. Squid. Yeah, carefully. Carefully. Um, uh, no, okay. that's uh, that's one of my warlock. That's one of my eldritch invocations that gives it a swim speed. Oh, okay, all right, fair enough then. All oh, right, so the whole invocation on that. Fuck yeah, <laughs> worth it. <It's laughs> right, right now, really it's good. Uh, all right then. You Nugget, your turn. Bunch of cool shit. Um. Okay. There's yeah. There's a lot more to it than that. Fair play. Well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Do you want to keep moving the boat along? Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yep. Yes. Okay, that's fine. So I'll say you can probably move the ship. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll say you can get the ship to about here-ish if you're following that path. Uh, and you, right. yep. Well, can I get it to the corner? Uh, what's in here? Okay, yep, sure. And you you take it as close to the oops, see Daisy, oh, hang on a minute. Or like there or something? Yeah, I'm gonna take it to the um Oh, so it's easier for people to get in. Oh fuck, why am I moving Yeah, there we go. 
yeah, get it so that the guys can jump in if they. Okay, if that's fine. I'll say I'll say where it is now with the destroyed bit of the jetty. That that's that's a pretty good spot that it's in right now. So you pull the boat up as close as possible. Uh, all right, court, go for it. I'm sitting behind. Um, um, so I think I can guess what everybody's going to do, but let's cycle. Going to swim and jump into the boat. Okay. Anything else for you? Um, I think. That's all I'm really going to be useful for. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not an action. Not an action. Call. Call is going to make his way to the boat. Yep. I assume you're not jumping directly in it and shattering it beneath your iron hooves. I mean, nobody told me not to. You specifically said to not that you No, he specifically it. asked people to tell him not to. Please don't. Oh, that, that is a shame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, it, is, uh, it is also it is also more than five feet away, so I probably couldn't make the jump. <laughs> like, Possibly not. Yeah. If you tot up my entire weight, it's. You're quite a heavy is... lad. I look forward to drowning you. I mean, oh, no. Uh, yeah. 424 pounds. You are going to be pulled on that's, that's with all my spray. That's my weight with all my items. I don't know what that <laughs> equates to, but what is that in, like, stone? It's going to be quite a lot. I don't, yeah. I'm not doing the calculation off the top of my head, but I'll say, yep. So, Call is able to clamber himself into the boat without drowning. Uh, Salem. I assume you will also be following suit. Oh, good but... lord. Uh, yeah. How much is it, Sam? Uh, nearly 200 kilos. That's quite 30 a stone. 30 stone. 30 stone. He is a cowman. He is a big is... cowman full of pike, yeah. What's the best route? Yeah, I'm I'm six foot five and I wear plate armor. <laughs> Rhubarb's um, probably up there. Got all, yeah. all, the, all the athletic, slender, lean mass of a fully grown bull. <laughs> yeah. Dan, you deserve to be... Um... Drawn and quartered, eh? Yeah, that's, that's fair. fair. Yeah, that is fair. Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, I'll say uh, for Salem. I mean, yeah, you're you're small enough. You could probably kind of climb up to there and then throw yourself off, get caught by somebody, and just chucked into the boat. Uh, and with Ragnar okay. coming in as well, I'm assuming Ragnar, you will also go. You could possibly help him in to make sure he gets in fine. Uh, yeah. Ragnar I'll... jumps for the box of cats. <laughs> yeah, or I'll just pick up some cats in my mouth like a mama cat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right you go you pick up the box you stuff one of them in your mouth by the scruff of the neck as well and leap handily into the uh rowboat so and as i do that i drop my rage so that i turn into a little dwarf boy <laughs> <laughs> a dwarf boy with a cat in his mouth <laughs> excellent all right with that the initiative is going to end the battle music is going to end my even more funky music is going to start as you row your ship away, I'm just throwing it out there. We are we are making a grave error. We're heading into a fight with a kraken in a fucking rowboat. As you row oh, your ship away, fucking kraken. You watch as more tentacles start to sprout up out of the water, grabbing up corpses, and you watch just briefly before you kind of round a corner and lose vision. He watches the whole body of the Kraken seems to pull itself up onto the jetty and appears to be consuming the corpses. We are not making a grave error. Oh, okay, I now, can't correct these guys. A choice. We are not making uh, a grave error. Those, those guys have to, made though. a grave error. <laughs> is, there, uh, is, now, there a lot, is there a nice image of the Kraken? Unfortunately, I don't have one because I'll be honest with you, my list of things that were going to happen on this, I was like, yeah, the Kraken's a backup. Um, I really have got to stop assuming you guys aren't going to make the worst possible choices. Um, I mean, throwing corpses in the sea is always going to be top of the list. No, but I mean, at the same time, the uh, our barbarian will just stand there and rage. <laughs> was not really. I mean, my list. did it or did it not work out? Like, I mean, it has <laughs> it has worked out for you as you kind of for... <laughs> as you kind of <laughs> sail away. My head's up. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Nugget kind of absent-mindedly comments of like, "Oh yeah, krakens are drawn by blood in the water." Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. 
As a grung, he is uh, well versed in uh, krakens. He's encountered them a fair bit when he, you know, used to dick about by the ocean. Um, I'll also say as oh, well. Uh, he's unimpressed with Night Shea Bill. Ragnar, as you kind of shapeshift back, you realize, oh shit, and notice that in your underarm is wedged the uh, the spear of that dragonborn that you were fighting. He must have got you, but you you didn't even feel it. Yeah, it's because he couldn't hit me through my magical armor and my other not existing armor. It was clearly embedded in the magical forces, but it was just just stuck there. Oh well. Um, want a spear? <laughs> I'll say <laughs> you find. <clears throat> Excuse me. Truth Fang's truthful fang is the weapon <laughs> that you've uh, gained. Oh. <clears throat> oh my god. That's a cool spear. Thank you. Also, I'm the only person here who uses spears, I think. <laughs> You already have a halberd, uh, and you already have a spear. <laughs> I have a javelin. That's not the same thing. Kind of is. No, like <laughs> mechanic mechanically, they are the opposite. One's a melee weapon, one's really a ranged weapon. I think they're the opposite. Yeah, they're, okay, they're, they're not, not the opposite. A pokey stick. It's just a throwy pokey stick and a. They're two sides. Okay, mechanically, like they're two sides of a. Oh. They're two sides of a coin. Yeah. I think and like... one is very specifically a melee ranged weapon, and one of them very specific. The sides of coin are the same. Yeah. Two sides of a coin aren't the same. Two sides of a coin are the same. I think the opposite of a javelin would be like, Mm -hmm. more likely to be like, spaghetti bolognese. (laughs) I do fucking love, I do fucking love a good spag bowl. Okay, Ragnar's just going to keep the spear if you're just going to argue about no, it. No, I yeah. want the spear. <laughs> Ragnar eats the spear because he thinks it's spaghetti bolognese. All right, okay, I'll put the question to the DM. Is it a no. throwable spear? No. And there we go. Fucking called it. I mean, you yeah. can throw it. Actually, we, yeah, no, no, no. Sorry, spears are throwable. Mm. Yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah, no, my, my complete bad. Yeah, spears are throwable weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. They're versatile, they're ranged, they're thrown. Like, yeah. I was not aware of this. Yeah, yeah. It's, um... Javelins are exclusively throwable, spears are both. Mm. Uh, but a spear is a d6, so it's not like a... It's not an incredible weapon, but, you know. So you, you can hoy it at someone, but you'll then th- you'll toss away your magical weapon, never to be seen again. Yeah, and if you want to get the bonus on it, you're going to have to keep going to get it back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is a melee weapon as well, I should say. Like... <laughs> My javelin. Yeah, also, a spear doesn't have a reach. Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't get reach. No, uh, yeah, yeah. It doesn't have an amazing range, but yeah, still. Yeah, it's it's like a mid-range throwing weapon. The idea is that you could throw it, run up, pull it out of somebody, and stab them with it, you know? Mm. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Just uh, changing the subject slightly. Yep. Um, it's actually not the Indie talk. You know, oh. um, you know the fire in Hastings? Yeah. Yeah. Old Town. Um, Manelli's, the pizza place, was, they opened and just made fucking tons of pizzas for the uh, fire brigade. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Aw. <laughs> They're good people. I'm yeah, I mean, I, I am I am pleased, but in no way surprised that that has occurred. Like, they are, I can fully believe that of the people who run Manelli's. <sighs> Sorry, Dom. No, 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 that's fine, that's fine. As you kind of are sailing away from the absolute catastrophe on the docks, enjoying your free pizza cooked by a handy passing ship that just haven't was giving out pizzas, hey, great. <laughs> uh, and chowing down on it, you, you feel like, yeah, okay, we made, a, we made a good decision here today, I think, as you are heading towards the good League of Goods trireme. And I'll say that's where we'll call it tonight, but you do all level up. Oh, yes. Puts you at level seven. Oh.